Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today, we are joined by ourselves. Woo! Woo! Us. Full disclosure, this podcast right here might be the furthest like forward we've ever filmed. Yeah, we are filming about two weeks ahead. Yeah. Almost two weeks mm. completely ahead. Because you're going away. I am. Which we will not talk about. Yeah, you'll see why. It's yeah. another Sidemen video, but you'll see why soon. This is going to be my sixth or seventh country this year. Mm. I've not Which been out of the country this mad. year. I have. Belgium. Yeah. Trendsetter but I don't traveler. like it. <laughs> I don't want to it's go away. Me, man. It's not with me, I'd love to go. Nah, I, I, I did away. put it in the chat. I was like, we just, we're just going away so much. Like there's one bit when I get back from this at the end of the month, I then go away for two days, come back for four, go away for three days, come back for four, yeah. go away for two days. Yeah. And I can't do it. I know, actually. Well, I, even coming here from Nottingham, it, like it's the like we said on the last podcast, waking up the next day is a tough part. Yeah, not waking up. Sorry, that sounds really morbid. But like, <laughs> like you're tired the day after. Yeah, it's no like going away is fine, traveling's fine, but it's when you get back or to wherever you're going. Well, it's it more you. like the it's more the the amount of time we spend in places. Like yeah. this one, I'm going away. I'm really looking forward to this. I've got days, a few days to do what own. I want. Yeah, yeah. Normally, like when we went to. Uh, where did we go? We went somewhere where we had that, uh, Vegas. When yeah. we did the America trip for Sidemen, mm -hmm. we had a day in Vegas at the end where we'd had nothing nothing to go. So we all had a great day, chilled together, Yeah, do whatever. Went to the spa. Cut the cheese. <laughs> That's what they say, right? Yeah, yeah, having a conversation, cut the cheese. Uh, yeah, is that a phrase? That's not a phrase, I don't think. Chalk and cheese. Uh, Cutting chalk. Cut the cheese. Mean uh, to fart. Oh, I don't, I, sorry, guys. I, I, I didn't mean that. I mean, we probably, I was with Cut Ethan, the shit. so he probably definitely did. Cut the shit. Um, but like, for example, when we went to Dubai, mm. it was literally land. We went from landing to film. Yeah. Then had a meeting, slept, woke up the next day, filmed, whatever. We did that. We didn't have a day free. Not the boat one, the one that you went afterwards. Yeah. 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 And then the latest Sidemen video, we flew in the morning, uh, filmed that whole day, slept, filmed until our flight and straight back and straight home yeah which don't get me wrong everything we did fun yeah it yeah, was enjoyable but like it was it was a good trip still but it's just it's just tiring yeah no it is. i'm not saying it's not fun in any way it's yeah, just tiring yeah, yeah whereas harry put in the chat when i said oh we you know we're doing so much traveling and it's kind of like it's tiring harry was like this is what i live for yeah yeah because he loves it yeah it does he he made a really good point and it it does make you do stuff that you normally wouldn't do yeah i agree so. I, I love traveling. I, I like, I actually struggle at home now. I was saying this to Laura actually, cause like, see when I was in London, like everything was always happening. And even before that, like, before COVID obviously, like I'd be on like tour or I'd be traveling, doing videos and stuff. And I loved like doing that. And even being in London, it felt like that. Cause it'd be like, it'd be like a meal some, somewhere or I'll go to a shoot where I wouldn't do it now. Yeah. And now I'm like, some days I'm at home and I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> like I've got all day to do my work. I'm not, I'm going to struggle to do it. Yeah. Cause I've got no pressure. Whereas that's why I, love, I, love, I actually love doing the podcast. In the early mornings, I like doing the early mornings. Even though I don't sleep much, I'm like, get me involved, man. I like being with the bustle. So being at home <laughs> is actually quite slow for me. I, I enjoy traveling. Do you reckon Josh was um, joking when he said, come to the thing tomorrow? You know how he put in the chat last night? He's like, why don't you come to where they're going? Oh, I just realized what you're talking about. I, sorry, I they're say, already there. No, no, no. But that's, I, that's, he oh, said, he said it yesterday. I was like, I can't. I can't. Um, no, probably not. It's a Simon video. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm not on Josh's team. Um... Yeah, no, he wouldn't. But if you if you wanted to go, you'd go. Yeah, of course. like as in Simon videos, any that we go that are traveling, the majority of them we can add someone in. Yeah. So yeah. if someone did actually want to go, they can just be added in. Yeah, true, true. Well, I'm, if you ever need like a you know a blubbering idiot, let me know. <laughs> even if I, even if I'm in it for like ten seconds, I'd just be like, I'll just say a joke and leave. <laughs> <laughs> even if it's like, you know, what you should do? I should go somewhere where you guys do a trip once, and like, you're just like, oh, Randy, can I get a drink? And I just go and get you a drink. And that's it. <laughs> just for one second yeah. that's your whole involvement in the whole video yeah. you've gone all the way to dubai just oh uh, yo randy can i get a drink and just walk on <laughs> have the drink and just you leave it would be funny one, it, it, would be funny. it would be funny you know and john and like kind of like bro i'm, I'm working and this guy's just sat there <laughs> getting a drink but no I, I love like when people say that once one time my cousin invite like we were at a barbecue somewhere um back in the day and she was like oh me and my uh, now husband are going to disney world do you want to go? Like as a joke. And I was like, yeah. Oh, you're one of them. And I literally booked it the next day. Yeah, you're one of them. Don't you don't invite me something if you don't want me to be there. Don't, I'll no, be there. no, 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 no. You need, you need a level of social skill to, to understand what's an empty invite. 
Ah, and well. that, my friend, was an empty invite. <laughs> but then we became best friends. You know when people go, oh yeah, no, we should go for dinner sometime. That means that means we're not going for dinner. Oh yeah, I, I do that a lot. Don't yeah, worry, I do that a lot. But, but you, I mean, if you're like, not saying a date. It's not an invite. Yeah, it's like yeah. oh yeah, let's find a, oh let's let's do something sometime. And then the next day, text you're the one that texts going, oh you said we should do something sometime. When when what what day? When, I do when? agree. Where. I understand those social cues, but if you're inviting me like to Disney World, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Like, you don't, <laughs> that seems like even more of an empty. Yeah, but, don't do it, but then don't do it with Disney World, you know. Don't play, don't risk this game. Don't, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Toy with your emotions. <laughs> yeah, people all the time. You wanna come over here? Yep, I'll do it. <laughs> Easy. See you in a minute. Well, talking of traveling, mm. the latest Sidemen video. Yeah. Now to clear up, the video hasn't even been edited at this point. <laughs> like it's only just happened. So you definitely haven't seen it. Well, I actually get a buy this time. I actually well, get a reason. you definitely haven't seen it. Also, I haven't seen the other team side yet. Mm. It's a team video. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna give you the warning. Click off or fast forward, whatever. The video is throw a dart at a map Europe edition. Yeah. So we did it before with England and like the UK. You went to Aberdeen. I didn't. Well, they, did. they went to Aberdeen. Shrek World. Yeah, we went Where'd to you guys go? like Peterborough or something. Right? Oh yeah. So Deji, yeah. And all those people were just like, yeah. Fans and stuff. This time, they what? landed like between two places, one in Italy and San Marino. Mm. Um, and they go, they went to San Marino. Is this is out like, by the time we post this. Yeah. I want to double check. <laughs> yeah, just please check. Because <laughs> it's it's in the calendar that it's out. <laughs> They're thinking like, Simon, I think you ruined your entire No, it's there. Video. It's there, 19th. All right. You know. Well, anyway, if, if push comes <laughs> to shove and it doesn't get posted, we'll just cut this out. Yeah. You know. Uh, but yeah, they went to San Marino. Yeah. Um, they being Toby, Harry, and Vic, and then yep. me, Ethan, Josh yeah. went to Kefalonia in Greece. And fun fact, I've got a bit of a secret to spill. Yeah, you were going to go before, but there was a storm. We were. We actually had it booked. We did a side cast. We were going to go the next day, yeah. and we were going to fly from somewhere really far away. So I was going to stay from near. I was going to go stay there. So yeah. I brought a little backpack. Yeah, and everyone was like, "Oh, you know, we're getting a jet, right? So you can take whatever you want on there." <laughs> It's like, thank, thank God this got canceled because there were giant storms that would have taken yeah, down the plane and yeah. we would have been stuck there for five days. Mm. So we canceled it, went really recently from now, literally yeah. like four days ago. A few days ago, he did do that. And yeah. I took a giant suitcase. I thought you were take a giant shit. I did take a giant Why shit. Why would you take a giant suitcase? Because I knew I could take as much as I want. Because we're on a private jet, doesn't matter. But how long did you go for? <laughs> like a day. <laughs> I hate packing. Why would you force yourself to pack? Because I didn't have to pack. I just literally went, what am I going to take normally? Put in a suitcase. The suitcase is rattling. There's nothing in there. When you say massive suitcase, the normal one I'd take to America really? for seven days, yeah. And how much did you put in there? A pair of pants, a pair of socks, <laughs> okay. t shirt. So the suitcase was big, but you, what you packed wasn't big, wasn't a lot. I, put, I took, we were there for the day we went, one extra day. Yeah. That was it. I Mate, took that, that's, two that's pairs a, of pants, two yeah. pairs of socks, a spare t shirt. Love that. And a spare shoes. Love that. that was it. Same trousers. Yeah. Love that. That's always, a, that's always a treat. Same hoodie as well. Yeah, I love doing that. Well, my logic was. It, my, my feet might get wet, so I'll change socks yeah. and shoes. That's mm, it. Mm. But we went Kefalonia in Greece. Sounds nice. Was all right. What is Kefalonia? What it's just a like, little island. It's is like, it like uh, San Marini. It's like Santorini. Uh, it's like Zanti. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. No, we went, we're, look, we're, look at that picture. That's really nice. Look at that picture. How? No, the one on the right. How nice does that look? Right. I've heard of this. Yeah, we didn't go there. Oh. <laughs> we went to Kefalonia and didn't go to the famous part. You know, but this always happens. I, I, you know, and it happens worse with Americans. You know, Americans, right? They look at Europe like it's some sort of like literal heaven on earth. Well, it's the Paris syndrome, isn't it? Yeah. But I went, yeah, someone went to Paris and they were like, yeah, I really liked it. I was like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, look, like Zakynthos is just below it and it's another island just off it. Sounds like the guy from Hangover. Zakynthos. Yeah. Zach Galin. Galin Zach. <laughs> Galifianakos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so we basically gave each other's team a list of things to do. Mm. So me and Josh got in a call one night yeah. and came up with some things for their team. Okay. And I, I I haven't seen their footage, so I actually don't know if it was good or not. Mm -hmm. But they, this is where we, we'll get onto that. Um, you know, Gio guy would know where that is right from the second. Yeah. We've seen some of the stuff he does. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. I know. The joke is, Nuts. he's real. Yeah. He's not AI. Okay, carry on. The stuff we got them to do, I thought sounded good, but I don't know if they had a great time. Well, like pet a goat. No, they drove a nice car around the San Marino track. Um, you know the F one track. Yeah. Wow. Is it an F one track? I mean, I'm, 
Sam we Green. got them to go in the national stadium with a national football player Sweet. to do a crossbar challenge. Oh, wow. Yeah. He has a normal job most of the time. <laughs> um, yeah. They were meant to go to, I think they went, was it that one? They went to like the duck shop and they had to buy a duck. They, they actually have like duck a famous, shop. they have a famous rubber duck shop. Oh, wow, okay. They did a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought it was like, we thought it was a lot of stuff. Like it was good. Uh, we got them, we got them football shirts, San Marino national football shirts. Nice, nice. With uh, Italian words on the back. Um, Harry's was autismo. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> look, that's the, look how cool that duck story is. What was Toby's? That is good. That's really good. Uh, Toby's was... Autismo. No, I can't remember what the word was, but in English, it was poonhound. Because <laughs> he's one. He is one. Yeah. And Vix was cuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, why? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so then they had that. <laughs> That's like that was like Harry's because he he is you know Toby's because he has one and and Vic is just cook yeah why uh, so then we I'm went not, to Kefalonia we went to Kefalonia yeah and the first day Kefalonia it's a weird yeah. name for that yeah. I could name it something else but we went there and the first thing we do is we go on June buggies yeah and we were like okay this is all right you know we've done this before then we stop on the way home and we buy some in- ingredients for a salad. Mm-hmm. A Greek salad. Oh yeah, but half of us don't like Greek salad. How, how do you not like Greek salad? I don't like olives. Oh yes, no, I don't do like I. onions. Yeah, I don't like Greek salad either. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds rank. I so like we, salad though, like you know, like, but it started from Greece. <laughs> you know, Medi- Mediterranean food's nice. I love Greek and Turkish. Yeah, a lot of meats and köfte. You, like, you, guys, you guys like köfte? Köfte. That I say köfte. Fair enough. Well. Uh, <laughs> After that, I don't know we, how to pronounce it. We made the salad, yeah. and then uh, our driver came in and was you had like, a "Driver, I'm, yeah." He was like, "I'm going to teach you how to dance." Why? B- a Greek dance. Belly dancing? No, it's the worst. Sorry for anyone who's Greek. Worst it, dance I've ever seen. In my is life. it like a guy off TikTok? That's like shub, shubidi, bub, bub, bub. no. Oh. You literally all you do is slowly walk around with your arms up, and it's like you're drunk. That's I can't it. wait to watch that. This. Is the whole dance? I can't wait to watch this. He was like, "Oh, this is how you learn it." Yeah, did it once, and we we're all like. <laughs> <laughs> There's no learning in this. No. And then we get told, okay, you're going to go to a restaurant tonight for dinner and you're going to have to perform the dance. No. At the restaurant. That's great content though. We're all thinking this is horrible, but fair enough, it is funny. Like, yeah. you know, if we're going to have to get there and we're going to have to wear the Greek shirts, like the frilly Greek shirts. Yeah. We turn up. There is one man in this restaurant and it's the waiter. So you're dancing to one man. So we're like, what's the point of dancing? But did you still do it? <laughs> we, Ethan did. And I, I, the thing is, anyone who's not dancing, you go one at a time. Anyone who's not oh. goes on one knee and claps. So I'm clapping Ethan, not like that. And <laughs> <laughs> I clipped that. <laughs> Lovely. And Ethan's dancing in the middle of this restaurant with no one there. Yeah. And we're like, this wasn't a challenge because there's no one there. No. And no. then the next morning we were meant to go. We were meant to go fishing. Oh. Then caving. Oh. Which, go back to images of Kefalonia. Yeah. Looks amazing. Blue it, water. Blue water. You you go down this cave. Down this cave. Um, Where is it? On the right, top right, or that one, the one you were just on. Yeah. So you're meant to like abseil down into the water. Mm-hmm. We did not go in summer. Oh. So it didn't look blue. <laughs> we didn't go in the end <laughs> because the other thing we had to do was climb a mountain Okay. called Anus. <laughs> uh, and we realized that anus, yeah. our flight was at like 3 or 4 p.m. Yeah. The day that they planned... <laughs> was like nine hours. <laughs> you wouldn't have made it back. So we couldn't have done it all. <laughs> okay. So we basically had to decide, do we go fishing and caving? Who planned that? Who's a corporate? That looks like a nice mountain though. Well, they just planned things for us to do. Okay. We went, do we go caving and fishing? They're next to each other. Or do we go climb a mountain? And we were like, we've done fishing. Yeah. Caving doesn't look that nice. So we'll so go climb a mountain. mountain. And this is like a five hour round trip or something. Yeah. So that's pretty much all we did all day. Fair enough. But we climbed it. And you felt good? Yeah, it, it was good. good. We climbed Mount Anus. <laughs> And me and Ethan got our anus out. I think I've seen this picture. Yeah, we put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. It looks um, cold though and snowy. It was. All oh, right. Yeah. So it didn't, didn't look like anything like what we've seen now. No. My, but it didn't look blue like that either. No, no, no. Well, it was, you know. Yes. Was anyone else at the mountain with your anus on No. No one was on the mountain the whole time. As in, we were meant to, you're meant to be able to drive quite far up and then you do the last like 30 minute hike. Yeah. But because it was so snowy, we had to do like an hour walk to then do the hike. Got you. Um, yeah. And we didn't see a single person the whole time. <laughs> um, Good place to kill someone. It actually would be, yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't try. Actually, it I don't know because it is a tourist spot. Can I get arrested for that? No? No. 
Okay. Uh, just to clarify, it's, I'm no, this is quite a tourist spot. Yeah, it's a tourist spot. So you probably like if you did it this season. If you want to do it soon, you'll get away with it. But yeah, if you want to. Like, yeah. if you're planning to kill someone in the summer, don't do it there. Yeah, and, and also it's not cool enough to make a Netflix documentary, so don't even try it. Like, you'll not even get uh, on TV. Mount Anus, it's, it's funny. I'm not gonna lie, I'd watch that. Yeah, imagine imagine you killed them by cutting off their butt. Uh, it's getting too real now. Returning the anus to anus. That's the like, name of the Netflix. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like, now it's a crime. Now we've said do that. <laughs> what if you, you put them in a hole? And it was like, you put them in anus's hole. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I was wondering where you're going with that. Anyways, yeah. So the video, I don't know how it'll turn out, whether it was good or not. If you enjoyed it, let us know. But um, yeah, we did things. I thought it was fun. It was, <laughs> we did it things. Was, it, was, it was just, <laughs> Sick you, see, you see how I'm saying like, oh, we travel so much and do that. Like, yeah, yeah. This, this is the first one I felt like I was just there like, I, I want to get home. Yeah, I know. Whereas well. most of the other ones, <gasps> Uh, I've kind of gone like, okay, of course, we're yeah. here. Like Sweden, when we did the weird hotel, yeah, I thought this is really fun. This is new. This one, we were all okay. a bit like, we've we'll been up a hill before. Let's get, let's also get the content, and yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll be good on camera. But let's let's just get the video and yeah, yeah. yeah. And I Nick, like how it says, who, "What is it out of 10 it's, <laughs> not out, it's not up two weeks. I had a, I had a really fun part planned. So Nick, get off that tab a sec. And oh, Nick, can you pull up John's list of things to talk about? What was it out of 10? <laughs> uh, it, it, I don't know. Whose video was it? It was Toby's video. Behind the scenes info. <laughs> Why are you out in John? <laughs> no, I, like, I mean, it's good to know. I like it. Just like... Any BTS? Johnny, mm. BTS, terrified of heights. Really? He absolutely terrified. He's back healed. Yes, I think. But yeah, he climbed the mountain. Wow, well done. And then couldn't that. look. Johnny's a good guy. He's a good guy. Johnny's a good guy. Yeah. If I had the top two favorite Johns, he would be my top one. Who's second? John. <laughs> what about my brother? I've never met him. You know that? Uh, uh, no, I must have. I yeah. have, yeah, I have. Oh, he's yeah. second then. John's third. <laughs> uh, John's third. No, I, I, me and John get on. But um, it's funny because he missed his flight. He did. For a seven video. Yeah. Just because he was writing that list. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding, John. And now we have Jack and we're all much happier. Yeah, Jack. And also, he seems a bit more... Agile on the camera. Like you seem to pan more. Sometimes I look at the camera when John's doing it and it's not, I'm, the camera's not looking at me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I have got a tier list to do with, with you if you want. Yeah. If, that's, if you think that's enough for the Simon video. It's uh, kind of I mean, do... uh, yeah, it's hard to ask questions or like tell you much about it when the video's not, not out. out. Yeah. Not because I don't want to spoil anything, but just because yeah, I don't know how it's been edited. I don't of know course, what. of course. Um, yeah. The most clippable topic though yeah. is- uh, No, because we can't put that in the video. Oh. The most clippable Bum. topic is going to be What's in bums? the footballer reading the names on the back of the shirts. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is Mo? Yeah. <laughs> Cook. <laughs> yeah. I think he just read it as like, I haven't seen the full clip yet, but he just reads it as like, oh, you watch a woman, you watch your wife have sex? Oh my or something God. like that. So it didn't sound like it was a joke. No, I don't know if it's even going to make it in the video. Vic's like, yeah, this is me, my identity. It's not. <laughs> I'm, saying that, I'm saying that's what it would be like in the guy's eyes. Anyway, tier list, right? I've got yeah. one. Okay. My tier list is to do with the best sidemen pairs. Did you do, did you do this on sidecast? No, but we spoke about it a bit. Me and you? Yeah. And I was saying- Oh, Josh. That, yeah. And we were talking about how like the best thing to have in pairs is like um, one troublemaker yeah. and one more sensible. Okay, but I'm or, not, so, we said that based on who you would rather be with. I'm saying- like if you have to do a tier list from S. But there's literally- A lot of combinations. There's a lot. That's why, yeah, let's get cracking. As in it's seven times six times five times four times, no, six five, times five times four times three it's times two. It's a deck two. of cards, it never ends. It does. Yeah, it does it end. It does end. <laughs> well, we'll come on the top five then. Okay. I think my, my favorite pairing, mm. I haven't seen, you know what I've never seen, I don't think. What? JJ and Harry. Yeah, true actually. And you think they're getting, or do you reckon they, do you, reckon you, do you guys share them out? Because they're obviously- They're the big dons. Yeah, yeah. share them out. Um, They'd be good on a team though, ironically. We should do that at some point. Because I yeah. don't think that's happened. I think a fan favorite is definitely Ethan and Harry. Yeah, but that's because I think- They hang out outside of- they, Yeah. <laughs> they're actually friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can definitely see Ethan will act differently with Harry. Yeah, yeah. Than he does with anyone yeah. else. Yeah. He's on his phone a lot less. 
Yeah, yeah. Love note. Maybe that means he just likes. Him I think more. he's texting Harry when he's with everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> he's like, miss you. <laughs> <laughs> wish you were here instead of Toby. I don't know. Yeah. Um, they are, they are, they're good together. Though. They, they are good together. Yeah. They are good together. Look, a lot of drinking involved. They like to drink alcohol. Um, I think you and Josh are a good combo. Slept yeah? on, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, very slept on. Okay. I don't know why. So okay, let's do this. Yeah. If you had to make the oh. seven side men into three pairs and one. And then, no, but the one can then have a repeated person. Oh, okay. Beautiful. So like you could, you know, have everyone and then leave me out and then I could still have one of them. Okay, yeah. Let's hear your, the best all round, not just like, say you're saying Harry and Ethan, yeah. but then that lowers one of the qualities of the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best all I want to hear the all round. You know what I'm thinking of, right? I'm thinking of JJ right now. And there's not one clear, like... Who he's best with. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's because he's always just like... I mean, JJ is very good at just adapting to what's there. Yeah. Like, JJ and Vic comes to my mind, but not because they're good, because they're sneaky. No, no, I, I refuse to have JJ and Vic together. That's what I'm saying, I'm saying. Because they're shit house. Yeah, that's what I mean. So what you mean. need someone to level I'm not going to do that, but that's why, that's why they come to mind. <laughs> yeah. I've seen them shit I mean, before. some people find it hilarious. And well, it does... You and JJ are good together because of the Simon. But then also I imagine like JJ and Harry would be good together. Yeah. JJ and Ethan would be good together. Although JJ and Harry, I'm still shocked. I actually can't think of a video of JJ and Harry together. Yeah, it should make that happen. Yeah. Okay. Should we make it happen in a really awkward setting? Yeah, that'd be funny. I hate what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, Harry do and- Them two to do a fan meetup. Actually, JJ was really good with the fan meetup in Sweden. Yeah. He he was the one that kept suggesting it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so you and- you, I, I'm put you and Josh there. If you're so. saying me and Josh, you also said Harry and Ethan. So then that leaves- Fuck. Vic and JJ and Toby. Vic, JJ, Toby, which you then said- well, no, you then said Vic and JJ. I'm going to leave. No, no, I, I only meant that that's what comes to my mind. When I think of a pairing, they come to my mind, not as a good I pairing. I know what you mean, I know what you yeah. mean. So I'll, I'll go, okay, so Harry, Ethan, you and Josh, I will do that. I'm going to go with- Oh my God, there's actually a tier list. Oh, wow. Of a, okay, let's do that after after you sure, name this last sure. one. I will put together, um, I will, I'm going to leave JJ on as the one. Okay, we'll so go, Vic and Toby. Yeah, actually. Okay. I think Vic and Toby are actually a decent duo because they're actually quite nice people. <laughs> not, the rest not, of us now feel like shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean that more like they're not going to cause like havoc, and they're not going to kind of like. There, there are. Uh, I know you said Josh is like, you find Josh really funny because he's silly and you use that word. Yeah. I think Toby and Vic together are silly. They are silly. Vic can get a very silly side. Yeah, but they're more like, they'll, they'll be quite like a lot of puns and a lot yeah. of like jokes, but not nothing too outrageous. Yeah. Like Harry, if you did that as a video. Those threes. Yeah. I think me and Josh would be a lot of like dirty humor. Yeah. Harry and Ethan would be physical humor. <laughs> yeah. And then those two would be more like witty humor. Yeah. And that's how the video would go. I also think like Vic and Josh together, mine. Oh, they did do that, didn't they? In the village one, they were together. Mm -hmm. I think when they're together, it might be less funny, but more like they'll do the task really well. They went into a whole nother country. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, still, still, they still beat us. They did still beat us. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, come on. So we got tier lists. So the tiers are ultimate, ultimate duo, duo. <laughs> comedic pair, yeah. work well together, maybe better off apart, should never be put also, together. Also, you look out there who make tier lists, like, can you be consistent with your like capitalization? If you're going to go <laughs> full cap, stick with full cap. No, no, no. Because it's like the top one, like the ultimate duo. And then also should never be put together. Then, like then why is it one exclamation point and then, then two dots? Yeah, you know, though, okay, those, fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so first up, we have me and Vic. You and Vic. I think, personally, we work well together. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's, was, it's never, it's never groundbreaking. No, I, I won't go as far as like, you should never put together. I, mean, I don't think they'd be, they'd be, they'd be, they'd be, they'd be I don't JJ think anyone's. Vic might get on there. <laughs> nah, can we get rid of should never be put together? <laughs> True. Well, just, just don't add it. Just, just don't okay. just drag into it. Work well together. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes, like, I, I'm trying to think, like, we did uh, the race. Well, what did we do together? We did a video. We started off and we started at a- That a, one. <laughs> no, that's in, is that not in Amsterdam, right. I think? Sorry. No, Go we on. did a video and straight away we saw a duck and a guy who believed in the flat earth. <laughs> um, I can't remember where it was. What video is that? Mate, <laughs> Go, uh, you know, four in. Jay was massive in that picture. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I really, I really want to know what this video is now. Yeah, but I can't help you. <laughs> Don't watch that. <laughs> it was abandoned. Abandoned in Europe. Oh. Just type, no, type Sidemen abandoned in Europe. <laughs> Mini Shouting Minimenter. 
Simon abandoned Europe. I love Nick. I, Nick, if I watched like a Netflix series where you just Googling stuff, I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Winter. <laughs> this video, we all started in. Oh. What country is this? This is the one where they're walking through some yeah, sort of woods us. with a map. What country is this? Uh, Belgium. Is it Belgium? I'm pretty sure. Oh, Netherlands. 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 It was Netherlands. It does say arrival in Portugal oh, at 43 is- minutes. On the right. Oh, so not put. Oh, no, right. but it was Netherlands. You're okay, right. Okay, I'm okay, really, yeah, I'm okay. A good Simon fan. All right, back to the duos. Yeah. Okay. Josh and JJ. Uh, I'd say work well together as well. Not comedic. They are. Uh, you could do actually. Josh gets silly when he's with JJ. Yeah. I I said like, the way I saw it right is I think JJ, Ethan, and Harry are all chaotic. Yeah. I oh, think yeah. Toby and Vic are more sensible. Yeah. And then I think me and. J- Josh change depending on who, who you're with. Yeah, I agree. Josh more so. Yeah. Because yeah. when he's with like Ethan and that, he gets way sillier. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. I also think that like sometimes though, you see how comedic pair and work well together, like work, work well together could be actually higher than comedic pair, if that makes sense. Yeah. sometimes you can work well together for video that's not necessarily yeah. like, you know. I, I agree with you. Anyway, but anyway, put them in comedic pair. I'm happy with that. Yeah. See, see, I would say Josh and oh, Ethan, they are comedic duo as well. But you want to move, well move them and him and JJ down? And move. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Okay, and then these yeah. two, yeah, look, they're in the same street as me and Vic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, JJ wow. and Vic is that? Yeah. Um, I'm purely because they always, always shit house. Shit house. I'm going to say off. better off apart. Yeah, but also that shit house doesn't make the video good. It does make the video good. But not intentionally. No. Yeah, yeah. And if we all did it, it wouldn't work. Yes, exactly. So that's you why. You have to have someone yeah. else, you know, countering it. Yeah. Uh, is that JJ and Toby? They work well together. They do work well together. Are they comedic? Comedic pair? When I'm saying this, by the way, I think everyone's funny together. But when I'm like, are they a comedic pair? That makes it sound like, are they not funny? Or No, yeah, I know, I know. I think they work well together. Yeah? They, well, they actually can be quite comedic, but it's more of Toby just being funny. Yeah. And JJ being just like JJ. He, JJ probably is the most, like I would say, the most like on his day person. As in, like he could be the like on his day he could be he could be by far the funniest yeah. and carry anyone or if he's tired and doesn't enjoy the idea then you're struggling be, yeah like, broken yeah. one yeah and I mean that with love Ethan and Vic I feel like that's a very standard pairing it is but I wouldn't put them far apart though would you? I wouldn't put them very far apart I just think definitely like that's work well together well together yeah what a picture this next one is Harry and Toby <laughs> what picture Harry and Toby. Um, I think they get on well together, like uh, comedic. Why is this next one like a bro? Slap that anyway because I want to get onto this next. No, well, you know where, where are you um, putting it, bro? Your attention span, man. I know. We're all together. Why not? <laughs> okay. JJ, uh, JJ, this Josh photo right here. If that was an engagement announcement photo for themselves being in a gay couple together, I would think that makes sense. They look gay together. <laughs> they, they it's just—it's literally just them in color. Their heads are touching. So? That's kind of cool. I don't, I don't mean in a bad way. I'm saying like they would be a great couple. What are you typing in here? It's, it's, them, tra- in, it's them in Cologne. It's trying to find that photo. Yeah, it's in Cologne. Yeah. It's got time out as well. Harry and Josh, best YouTubers, Sidemen members, sexy mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> best YouTubers, more like best friends together. You're not on point. You're not on point today, are you? And I think that's funny. <laughs> you didn't even laugh. <laughs> well, I'm now. Where are you putting Josh and Harry? <laughs> um, I think I actually think comedic pair because I think that's that's where then Josh will get giddy more so with Harry than Ethan actually. Really? Yeah. Because I think I think when you have Harry, Josh, and Ethan, that's when it's Benjamin. like full silly Josh. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, then, then I think I think still comedic. Okay. Uh, yeah. We can chuck them, chuck them comedic. But you know, you know, I am very. Um, I do like you know Ben left for Harry and Josh. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm surprised they're not ultimate duo. That's, that's probably why I'm actually thinking. Oh, you thought I was gonna go high with them? <laughs> yeah, got you, a little got bit. You, got you. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Me also, and Toby. Also, also ruined even more now because now it's like even more out. <laughs> yeah, now the other two are. are. <laughs> okay. Me and Toby. You are good together. Yeah. You and Toby are really good together. Actually, actually, you and Toby suit each other really well. Thanks. Because you both get funnier. Thanks. Definitely not the ultimate duo. No, I wouldn't put ultimate duo, but I'll put comedic pair, actually. <laughs> I'll take it. No, don't say thanks like that. <laughs> you, you literally, oh, no, 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 I wouldn't put that. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I wouldn't, but it was, it was the way. I know, you said I it. know. Now, yeah, me and Toby, it's because um, I think we both have quite similar sense of humour. Yeah. So when he says his jokes. Also, you understand them? Yeah. I think when it's like, Obviously, Ethan, Harry, JJ, like they all have very different humor. Yeah, yeah. So when we say the jokes that we'd normally say, yeah. 
You don't get the same reaction. No, no. You know, nothing worse than saying a joke and no one get it either. That's really <laughs> annoying. Uh, who's that? Josh and Vic. I mean, they ended up in another country, so I yeah. was going to say work well together. But they, I mean, they work well together. They do work well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, you have to do something really bad to get maybe far off apart. Yeah. Uh, far apart. Yeah. Can't talk. JJ and Ethan, definitely comedic. Yeah. I don't, but, I don't think ultimate. Maybe mm. it is close, but not on purpose. <laughs> Yeah. Because they're just idiots. I think it's just, yeah, neither of the, both of them need caring for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's still comedic pair. I think so, yeah. By the way, if you're seeing the visuals for this, they're not in any order. No, no, no. Because people are going to be like, wow, you put them lower than blah, blah, blah. Yeah, who is that? That's Ethan Harry. And Harry. And Ethan. Oh, they have to go ultimate. You want to give them yeah, ultimate? They have to go Fair ultimate enough. Duo. Yeah. Yeah. I think you and JJ will go ultimate as well, actually. Really? Especially because the K Simon. I mean, but I, I f- hold on. Let me let me say this. To <laughs> you put right. them below. Put us below. <laughs> no, 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 no. But as in, put us below Harry and Ethan because he's done that on purpose. So oh. that people who see the visual go, you just put yourself above them. <laughs> got you, got you. What I'm going to say here is crazy. I actually think you and JJ are better as a pair outside of having videos. That makes sense. Okay. Why? Because like, because I feel like I don't know. Because obviously you've got the side men who are a group, but then you've also got like, say like your own channels and stuff outside of it. And you and JJ have done a lot of videos together before. And obviously, you know, before this haven't existed, you'd do videos together. Does that make sense? Okay. I, no, I get you. I get you. Because don't forget, there's like, people make, people make YouTube videos outside of the Sidemen, in yeah. the Sidemen. Not yeah. many these days, but you know, there's just a few. Yeah. I get you. But also, what? You've also got a catchphrase as well. So you've got a name, I mean. you've got. A, oh, you've got okay, a, Simon. Yeah, you've got a nah, name. Nah, there's, there's one for everyone. Emon was a thing. But, but not, not as well known. You, you Emon, got, Emon was the first one. I know. Well, the back biggest in the day, one. Yeah. But I'm saying like, but KSI I'm in now he's gone clear. Yeah. Because of all the kissing and stuff. All the kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Harry and Vic. And the fondling. Do we don't need to see what a picture of K- <laughs> We don't need to see, we don't need to see the edited picture. <laughs> this picture. <laughs> I know. That picture, look, look how they edited that. It's an easy one, it's an easy one to edit. Yeah, that's not on Facebook back in the day. <laughs> look at the top, like, like the actual picture. KSI actually kiss Simon? <laughs> look at the picture. <laughs> oh. Okay, mom? who's that? That's Harry and Vic. Harry I'm not Vic. gonna lie, a good duo. I, I think they're comedic. Yeah, I think they and I'd, I'd, I'd put them high up in comedic. By the way, I don't know why they just click together. Um, I think it's because Vic laughs a lot at everything Harry does, <laughs> yeah. which there's, that's not meant in a disrespectful <laughs> way. Like <laughs> he just he, it's you know what it is. It's when certain people get put in a certain mood by other people. Yeah. So for example ultimate duo Ethan and Harry Ethan's always in a certain mood when he's with Harry yeah yeah, yeah and he's straight away it's just like put yeah, him there yeah uh is that Ethan and Toby yeah I think comedic pair yeah I think comedic pair they as bounce well. off they do really, yeah they short do. short guy and, energy. and again Toby will laugh at Bez yeah he said short gang I said short guy energy oh nice uh me and Harry you actually work well together but I feel like you also are like magnets sometimes you can detract in what well I feel like sometimes Harry really annoys you I was not when it's a, just us. I was reacting to a clip the other day. You know where he was um, drunk and he was doing man, ma- Michael Jackson at you. Oh, no, no. Like, Harry Harry drunk is <laughs> the worst. He He's up there with like <laughs> Hitler. Um, <laughs> I said in my video, I actually love it when he's drunk because he gets so horrible. He's so horrible. He's so horrible. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But it, it, it entirely depends on who he targets his like his hatred towards. Yeah, exactly. Because if it's on you, yeah. then you're literally, like you're just being bullied okay, by someone. Yeah, that, yeah. But if on someone else, it's funny. Yeah. Well, he goes to you, he goes, oh, and that's where, that's where, for example, him and Ethan, unbearable together. Yeah. Because Ethan never gets the stick of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, always, yeah, yeah. he'll go for someone else. Like when he went at con in that video. Yeah. And he starts, to, he's like, con, you have a fucking fat round face. <laughs> <laughs> and Ethan just laughs. And but I'm like, he, he did go off at Ethan once though. Remember in Among Us? He's like, uh, oh, Ethan, you actually get fat again, you know? Yeah, he has got, <laughs> yeah. And like even the other day, um, uh, one of the, it was the, was it Come Dine With Me? Chips Christmas special. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think it was that. With Arthur's in it and stuff. And Yeah, yeah. That's he's, long. They start going back and forth, Ethan yeah, and him. And he, yeah. yeah, he does the same thing. Um, I think we work well together. Okay. I but don't I, think I it's, on your day, you can be a comedic pair. Yeah, but uh, if if you have to say on your day, I feel like it's okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. More often than not, did you watch the uh, abandoned in the desert video? You don't have to lie. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> you literally like nodded and shook your head at the same time. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> no, that, that was the one where I couldn't have. That was the one where it was the same day as the. Yeah, yeah, but no, now it's no. three weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I watched bits of it. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like should, in that oh, video. Oh, oh, like, oh, we should make a V shape. Yeah, in that video, you're really good together. Yeah. I I thought, yeah, I thought we were good in that, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like I, I, I no, nah, I'm saying comedic fair actually. You're, you're, you're actually better than you think you are. You and Harry together. I would like, I would watch more videos if you were together more often. Okay, I like, I like the combo. Thanks. I also like the combo of you, Ethan, and uh, Harry at the football game because um, see, that's where it, that depends on if I, if I get sucked into it. I know, I know. Then it's funny. Yeah. If I'm not. I just get bored because I'm out of their jokes. Yeah, but, but I liked it when they were like forcing you to have that drink, that horrible drink. Yeah. And they're like, go on, man. And you're like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> they're like, please, go on. It looked gross. <laughs> it was a laxative. <laughs> yeah. The barman goes, yeah, by the way, if you have a couple of these, you'll be shitting yourself. I'm like, cool. They're forcing me to have it. Sure, done. Um, it's just funny. Yeah, like if I, if it entirely depends on what topics they talk about. Yeah. Because when they start talking about, they do a lot of stuff away from the rest of the sidemen. Yeah. Like, uh, they have their other group hiking chat, like hiking and they you know they always play football together they yeah. always they go watch F1 together stuff like that so when they They're start talking friends. about that stuff yeah yeah whoever's with them is cut out yeah true, true. Um, that's where but then on the football day for example it, we were just talking about the football match yeah and it was exactly alright I'll get sucked into it and it's yeah. really fun next up you, you and Ethan E1. me and Ethan I feel like I think we work well together. I think you work well together. But I feel like, you, do you think you used to work better together? Yeah. So I remember when I when I first like talked to you guys before Sidemen, you'd be hang out all the time, wouldn't you? On calls. Yeah. It yeah. was it was the Skype days. Yeah, the, Skype days. The Skype, we, we used to sit in a Skype call every night and it was me, Josh, uh, me, Josh, Ethan, and then Vic would be there a lot and Toby would be there a lot. Yeah. JJ would still be, it, like everyone would be there a bit, but uh, JJ and Harry less so. And then Toby and Vic would also like Vic would go record with the pack, yeah. and Toby would also disappear. Do you know a funny story about like like those calls back in the day, right? So like you know how now like in Discord, like someone would be in Discord call, you just go and sit in there, you know. Yeah. And, like you used to be in Skype, you just sit in there, do your own work, whatever, and just chill. I didn't understand that's how it worked. So JJ would call me sometimes <laughs> and just never hang up. And it's, I'd be there in my house, like on my laptop, like think think I've got like a Zoom meeting, right? Yeah. I'm like on a call, I and mean, I'm thinking like. <laughs> no one said anything like, I'm like what am I doing and then Deji's just Deji's just there oh hey Randy I'm like oh, hi I'm like what what is the purpose of this call I didn't get what like hanging out like that was it was literally oh. just a thing of like we would everyone would be editing their own videos yeah, everyone yeah. would like play games or whatever record videos so we'd go on a Skype call record the videos and then go someone might go Vic might go by the way I'm just gonna go record another video yeah disappear come back but in that time I might just sit and edit mm -hmm. and if they start having a conversation and i'm trying to edit i'll just mute yeah yeah well, it's, it's like discord now isn't it these yeah. days the early but version of it we would just sit there from like it would be okay let's meet tonight 8 p.m yeah skype call finish at 5 a.m <laughs> and in that time there might be four hours where we don't say a single word <laughs> yeah. and it, i don't know it was it's it was nice. It's nice. it was nice yeah because you're also getting work done but yeah yeah because even now i always have a stream open yeah yeah like i some i used to sit in a discord call but now i just have a stream open yeah and whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Well, Discord calls, you can't stay up really late, right? Yeah. It's like, it's better yeah. to not, not do that, guys. But I think that's where me and sleep. Ethan used to talk a lot more. Mm. Now we talk on sidemen shoots. Yeah. So yeah. when we do this, we still work well together, but it's not as, we're not as in sync as we used to be. That <clears throat> I will say that is one of the downsides about our like friend group as a whole. Is that it's very easy to like not hang out, isn't it? Just because we, we don't hang together. out. Yeah, well, that's we, why we, we do, do the troops meal. Troops meals, yeah, or like the holidays sometimes now and then. But like, <laughs> what <laughs> holidays sometimes now and then? Am I invited to these? We went well, to Vegas. Oh yeah, stuff like, like that. I mean, yeah, like yeah. last year, like yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. and the not fact, often is my point. Not like, often. No, 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 no way, no way. We always talk about them. When yeah, only this, you know. But like realistically, you know, most of us have now moved out. We all have a house. Yeah. We could go chill at someone's house. No, we could for sure. But like, but I think we, I feel like we don't. Like, for example, I, I don't hang out with JJ as much as I used to do back in the day. But that's just because, like, oh, I'm sure I'll see him at Sidecast one day. Yeah. Or oh, I'm sure I'll see him at the meal, you know. Because because we because we, we have these things. But then maybe once, whenever we slow down, maybe we'll end up doing. I'm sure we'll do things actually. It's when it's when people stop doing as many videos and we take up stuff like golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then it's like a mutually beneficial thing you know, to go to. People having lessons with golf. You know this. Huh? People having lessons with. Yeah. Them. I'm going to start in summer. Are you? I, just don't want, I can't bother right now because it's cold. You're next to a course, aren't you? Yeah. Are you going to go to that one? No. I can't believe I lived in, uh, <laughs> in, in Canada water next to a, like, I told you, like one of the only official robo golf things in the country. Yeah. For three years. Didn't go. Didn't go. <laughs> I, I found out about it the week I was leaving. Anyway, right. Uh, is that Josh and Toby? Josh and Toby. 
Work well together for sure. Work very well yeah. together. I wouldn't necessarily say comedic. But I also would say they are, they are not, they are funny. They are, I mean, everyone, I think everyone together is funny. But yeah. But yeah, I'd go work well together. There's a bit of shit here. <laughs> <laughs> who's, uh, who's that? Harry and JJ. Harry and JJ. I don't remember. Really I feel like they would be ultimate if they actually did it more often. Yeah. Look, even that screenshot's not, not from an actual video together. It's like mid game show. I'm going to put it in comedic pair purely because I don't see it. Yeah. But I know- Potential's there. Yeah. yeah. I know that could be the funniest pair, mm. but I haven't seen it enough. Yeah. So I'm going to, you know what? Next time there's no- I'm hosting a game show soon. Yeah. I'm going to make them a team. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> because I think it'll be really funny. It would be funny. Okay. But it'd be even funnier if they're away somewhere. Just that. Yeah, I mean, the next time I host one of those videos, I'll definitely But, but also, it. actually, I think Harry, to be fair to Harry, he does not like shit has in videos. No, he doesn't. So he, Like when we did the Dubai, the yeah. desert one, he was very, like, he was actually one of the people we, it was one of our things was see a fish. Yeah. And we saw a fish mm -hmm. and went, uh, like it was barely seeing it. Yeah. So then we went into the mall and there was an aquarium. And yeah. he said, he said, Let's not go there, even though that's seeing- It counts, yeah. Well, it doesn't just count. It's an aquarium. Yeah, yeah, like you're seeing yeah. cool fish. And he said, he said let's like go a... to the, they saw a, they saw a pendant of a fish. Yeah. <laughs> Harry was the one that said, let's go to a water park mm. just to go down a slide, just to see a fish, yeah. which is nuts. Even at the video where we did, you know, like start off with a pound video, that one. Yeah. Like, it was with me and Harry and Josh and Harry was like, we could have made loads of money doing stuff. He was like, nah, wait, that's cheating though. Like it's too easy. Yeah. And I like, really want to do that video again somehow. Like do it in America. Yeah. No and I don't knows. think we'd get many fans and also just say you can't charge for selfies. Yeah. But do, do it in like, not like New York. You have to go like Wisconsin. I'd, I'd probably still do it in like a, oh. do it on like Where's, Long Beach, San California. Fran. Cisco. Yeah. Where's Wisconsin in? <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Massive chew shits. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Toby Rick and, and Toby. Yeah, they're right together. Work well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you and Josh go to duo, ultimate duo. I feel wrong that I'm in two of the ultimate duos. I don't think that's right. <laughs> There's no way. See, now no, when you- No, put that back. <laughs> see, now when you thought I was being nasty when we were doing the ranking the Salmon video, I've backed you in two ultimates on, and not because of that reason. Well, you've just brought it up. Yeah. So maybe that is it playing no, it's not. I'm just, I'm just very observant. Nah, I don't think, hmm. You think, you think me and Josh are better than me and JJ? Yeah. I actually do, by the way. I actually way do. In seven videos. I told you, I think you and JJ think are more good. I think put me and JJ down. Okay. Me and JJ down to comedic pair. Yeah. You and Josh are a really good duo. And everyone knows it. Even at the house, I was like, I was I always like when you guys are together and I'm there with you. I want to ask a question. If you yeah. had to put Yeah. Who is the most similar to each side man? Oh so God. who's who's most similar out of the side men to Harry? <sighs> this is hard now because And I'm not talking like looks. Uh, no, of course. Most similar to Harry. God, man. I honestly would go Vic, you know. Honestly would go Vic. Really? Because he's got that stupid side to him. <laughs> the obvious one is Ethan. But I feel like... Okay, yeah, I know, I know. But, I'm but saying... then I don't think they're actually alike at all. That's what I'm saying, that's what I mean. Yeah, but that's the ob that's who... If everyone, if you asked everyone on like, I don't know, on a stream, they'll yeah. all go, oh, Ethan. But it's because they're friends. Yeah, I, they're a good duo, but they're not similar. Like, because Harry's got that, like... Well, I can see. Side, and Vic has also got that sometimes because <laughs> you know you don't. I can see it, but they are so different in some ways. I know. Well, maybe it's a hard question because not everyone. Okay, how about Josh? You and Josh are very similar. I said this. I said me and Josh are the most similar. Yeah, out you of are. Everyone. And Josh, I don't think Josh thought he was. No, you are because you both. You know. Tall. I think Josh. Who did Josh say? I feel like he said Ethan. Him and Ethan. Is that just because like Essex? Probably. Maybe. I think that you and Josh are very similar in very different ways. Like very analytical together. Very YouTube based, if that makes sense. Very vlog. I don't know. I just, maybe because I spent loads of time with you both at the house. Yeah. That's my favorite. I just, just hang around with Josh and Simon. It's like big bros. You like my big brothers. Because <laughs> you're also older than me. Right. Had to just throw that in, didn't you? I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> it came out that way though. Well, anyway, let us know. Let us know. Uh, who also, you... sorry. That was a really bad tier list because you've put everyone like literally. In the middle. There, was, there needed to be more, maybe more of, uh, maybe better of a part. What kind of sentence is that? As in, you shouldn't have It's hard to say that out. It's hard to say it. Maybe better off apart. I can't say it. Maybe better off apart. I'm just, just clearly, clearly have some sort of 
No, no difficulty. Okay, uh, we also had some other topics to talk about. We've talked about the Sidemen enough. Yeah, what's, what's let's talk list? about boxing. Really? No. I don't want to talk about uh, boxing. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we talk about boxing so much. I'm getting bored of it, man. Yeah, but the worst part is I do these. I do these, uh, these podcasts cast. and then I do sidecasts. I know. And it's just boxing again. I love, like, I love it and I love the boxing, but... Even last time, when I looked at the comments on the last podcast, someone was like, oh, just for those who are here for the po uh, boxing, it's like between 20 minutes and like 55 minutes. I'm like, wow, that long? Oh no, it's like, yeah. it was like 20 minutes to an hour. I'm like, fuck me, man. What a boring podcast. Yeah. But it's trending, man. You got to remember that. I like these ones. I know you don't, but I love these ones. I, no, I like these ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just think sometimes when we film in advance, we struggle to have topics to talk about. That's what I, I struggle you know, with. I know, I, I agree, and I know I you're, you like that because then we just waffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you like But sometimes- structure. We we paused my life. No, but, but, but so uh, I saw a clip recently on TikTok of uh, Harry. You say to Harry, "What's your biggest fear?" And Harry goes, "You know, social situations." Oh, also, I hate long pauses. And me and Josh go. You and Josh <laughs> both do it without even thinking. That's why you and Josh are similar. You see, yeah. You both just pause, and you can see him getting like. But I love I love being in that moment. You know that like <laughs> silent. I love I like love that man because I'm like the other person feels really awkward. Now. I was so happy me and Josh are on the same wavelength. It's yeah. the fact he goes, "Ah, oh, my biggest fear is just long pauses in conversation." And me and Josh. <laughs> We both think the same thing. And you, you, know, you, know, you guys don't see each other, do you? No. So it's just audio. So I know yeah. that. And I'm, I'm, you see both smiling at each other, but not knowing you can see each other. It's lovely. But also in guest podcasts, I do hate the silence. Yeah. Because I'm like, cause I also don't know if you're going to jump in or am I going to jump in. Yeah, that's that's where I hate it. <laughs> and then sometimes we'll go, Whoop, and you know. <laughs> anyway, um, what's the worst you've ever felt? <laughs> I did panic then. <laughs> that, was, that was full panic. Really panic. Worst I've ever felt, like, like, Ill or just like down? I don't know, John wrote it. <laughs> For talking down, it was when I was leaving uni. Really? Yeah. You felt better because you felt like you failed. It was also like a, Sorry to well, it's like, what are, you, what are you doing with life when you leave uni? Yeah. Because you're quitting uni. Yeah. I'm also quitting without any prospect of anything else. Mm. At this point, I haven't done anything. JJ, I haven't even spoken to JJ about doing his clothing line. True. He just, yeah. I literally was quit. I quit and I was like, I have, I have no idea what I want to do. I'm not going to have a uni degree. I haven't got good enough grades to now go somewhere better. True. So I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. And also my parents, rightfully so, saying like, no, you should stick it out a bit longer. Yeah. I've been there three months. Yeah. So um, yeah, probably that. Because having to really convince them not to, that I, I shouldn't be there and stuff. Yeah. That's hard actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's but probably but that. you made it out. Yeah. Look at me now, mum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gail. Maybe that's why. <laughs> well, that's you? why you worked so hard, though, because like you were like nervous. Yeah, and that's why you created the Gold Club. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you know, you're like, oh, mom and dad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make YouTube videos. Watch and, this, and they're like, yeah, let, let's see then, and it's like Gold Cup, <laughs> <laughs> winning the Gold Cup. True, you did win. Not it. just the Gold you Cup. Did win it. Yeah. No, but the thing is, I've always been someone that a job I've always needed was something that I. Put more hours in i do i get more out of it yeah yeah so like even when i did i think i've said it before i did work experience yeah and it was like they you know how they just try and find stuff for you to do they yeah. don't really care they were like oh you know clean up this filing huge f uh, warehouse and they were kind of like yeah this should this should take him three days and i did it in the first day That's not because it not because it was like oh, i was super quick and i'm amazing yeah. it was just they expected me to kind of Half muck awesome. about yeah take three days and then my work experience is done. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I was like, cool, if I do this, am I done? You are very like that. You're, you're like, if, if you have four videos to film, you're like, I might as well get them done. Yeah. Whereas I, I'm like, I'll react to a video and I'll sit down, yeah. have a drink. I'm like, fuck me, that was really hard. <laughs> well, like I worked in a warehouse and it's, you literally, all we're doing is packing orders that come in. Yeah. So the quicker I work, if I if I can pack every single order that's come in, yeah. there's no work. Yeah. Then they'll say, I'll oh, just sweep up a bit or something. And yeah. that's when I can just go, cool. AirPods. Yeah, no, no. Air, oh, you know. Didn't have them back then. I was going to say, I didn't Time have them. <laughs> <laughs> My Zen Micro. <laughs> yeah, true. That Sam was, Ericsson's. Uh, yeah, that, like that. That was... Yeah. Um, what about you? Um, well, I've always felt really worse, bad, so... Oh. Just now, really. No, I'm not going to... I'm just joking. <laughs> that was so deep. No. But it, to be fair, actually, maybe it is recently I've been very down. Okay. But it's okay. How recently? Um... Like you're talking last couple of months or are you talking like last year? Nah, to be fair, because last couple of months I've actually been getting better. I've been losing weight and stuff and like trying to get my stuff sorted out. But it's like, but I struggle with like, I always struggle with like actually, do, like there's a period where I came out of uni, right? I'm like, what do I do now? Because like, I'm like good at, I know I'm good at stuff. I just can never get it done. And I remember just like trying to film and stuff. I can never get it going. That's what it's been like recently. Like nothing I can do works, but I'm getting there now. The worst I've ever felt, I can't really pinpoint one though. Not like you can. Yeah. That's the only time. 
yeah. I wish I had something that I was like, yeah, I can choose that moment, but it's just always a bit shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you go about school. School, yeah. I like school though. I kind of oh, like school. I hated school. it. School, I hated school. I was a bit like, I'm very like peer pressure-y. You know, I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm very good at, like I'm bad at peer pressure. Okay. Like I, someone could be like, do that and I'll just do it. <laughs> and there's a ham sandwich on the floor and I just ate it. <laughs> yeah. It's nice though. You know, or like sometimes I'll kick that, kick that stone at the teacher and I'll just do it. <laughs> like people, like people, people laugh, you know? Yeah. You know, otherwise they'll just they'll don't like me. They'll hate me if they don't like me come laugh. Yeah. Probably it reflects how I am in videos. So I'll be the guy to just like, you know, drink that, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I've noticed that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, there's a question here. Do you think that a YouTube version of a reality TV show has a chance to grow? Well, yeah, because like Locked In does well. Just very well, but it's not. It's not got its own like. It's not got its own IP almost in terms of its. It's. It's a copied show. But isn't every show pretty much a copied show? Like, like even like Love Island is like Big Brother, right? Yeah, but I feel like they didn't really even. Ad I guess they've adapted it and made it like YouTube challenges each day. But I know what you mean. Actually, it's not it, like I know what you mean. If not for the people in it, it wouldn't be anything. If that makes sense. Yeah. Sorry to like Foot Locker. Uh, for asylum. Sorry again now. <laughs> I've been rude <laughs> even more now. But you know what I'm trying to say? Like yeah. if because I think what carries that show is the characters are in it. Whereas Big Brother, that would carry itself. It makes makes the yeah. characters out. And Love Island the same. The concept of it, like step forward. I know that kind of got like washed out a little as as it went. Yeah. But that kind of thing in the coupling makes it unique. Yeah. Come down with me. I, come down with me. Ah, again though, like that's also not its own thing though. Right? Because it's just it literally is coming out. It, it is literally, yeah. And also, I do agree. It's, it's, I think the same. Say Chip series. I don't think that would have done as well if it didn't have the right characters in, in it. No, hundred percent. Because the only reason that worked really well is because everyone was not only decently funny but also willing to cut. Like, yeah. And as much as he could do a second series of it, it's going to be another different group of his mates. Yeah. yeah. Where it, and it's a finite amount. Yeah. For Whereas. Sure, for sure. If Chip was to make it into a thing of like, okay, I'm going to do come dine with me. Any YouTubers want to do it? You know, find some YouTubers yeah. with like um, maybe less subs who want to, you know, get themselves out there. Yeah. He could do that and make it a series, but I don't think would it. No, it'd have more longevity, maybe, but it'll be less fun. Sometimes yeah. it's better. Sometimes longevity is not what you want. Sometimes you want to come in. Do a quick it series. Yeah. yeah. Do a series, you know, have that bang and then move on to the next. While the iron's hot, they say. Yeah. But I don't get that because if it goes out, just turn it back on again. <laughs> You know, strike while the iron's hot. Well, maybe back in the day when you when you had to like make a fire to burn your iron. You know, back in the day where like to get to get the iron hot, you'd have to put fire on it. Whereas now you just click a button. <laughs> you know. So we should change that phrase. Yeah. To what? Strike like the iron, whenever you want. To strike like the iron. <laughs> Turn on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going crazy. Um, the thing is, I also feel like the two things, right? Two sides of the coin here. When we have got a list of topics, I feel like we just read them more. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not really digging deep into my soul here. By the way, have you seen some? You know the comments on the podcast. I'm seeing this a lot recently. People are like, um, I actually love this podcast. I'll say, because you know, we keep getting bullied from people. Yeah. They'll come on and they're actually like, I actually like this podcast. A lot of banter, very really <laughs> easy to listen to. And I will say, there's some podcasts out there that got no personality. You you realize you've just set us up. No, like, no, no, I haven't. They're gonna be like. They have no personality coming from Randolph and Simon. But no, no, but right. Here's what I'll say. People like Jack, mate, who look in will say, will say that. But the people who listen to us every week in, week out will get that because what Jack, mate, will do is say, not to pick on him, but you know, or Ian Sterling. They'll He'll watch a clip. They'll watch the clip. And be like, wow, it's a boring clip. Yeah. Which maybe it is. But when in the podcast, if you watch and listen to us all the time, you get the funny parts. The worst part is you could easily, when it's long form content, you can always pick. 20 seconds where nothing is talked about. Yeah. And there's also like a couple awkward pauses and stuff like that. Yeah. You can always find that in a, an hour and a half. Yeah. And then just watch that. Yeah. And then you're like, well, these two aren't funny. <laughs> exactly. I think yeah. I could watch nearly any YouTuber, you know, and make them look boring by oh, just not laughing yeah. or smiling. Well, in reaction videos, someone asked me, oh, why, why are you different in reaction videos? And it's because like, when I watch content on my own, I don't sit there and I'm not like, ha 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 ha. I'm like, hmm. I was going to ask actually. Hmm. <laughs> You, know what I mean? you sound like JJ when he's hmm. doing the. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like. Do you, on your own, yeah. do you laugh out loud? I did when I watched Laser Beans video. Really? Yeah, I actually caught myself laughing out loud. Like, ha 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 ha. But no, I don't usually. I think there's very little that makes me laugh out loud. Yeah, not all. Even, even like something, even something hilarious, right? On like a, you laugh internally. Yeah. Even like a, even like a, a, a stand up. Yeah. I laugh on my inside. I don't know if that's weird or not. Because I'm the same as that. Yeah. But. <laughs> So I was talking to Talia about it and she she's like, no, I'll, like, and her sister, they were like, I'll laugh out loud, like on my own. 
and I kind of see it almost as unless it's that unless it's something so silly that makes me laugh yeah natu- like <laughs> yeah I almost you almost just laugh to show other people that you found it funny I think so I'll, I'll give it a little nose breathe out <laughs> on my own sometimes and sometimes I will laugh if, it's, if it catches me off guard you know you nose breath yeah I'll breathe, my, I'll breathe through my nose if to find it funny on my own but I agree with that and also um, I think I can picture Tali laughing in my head I don't know why that's on her own yeah you know, I, I suspect, do either of you laugh on your own yeah you actually do yeah if something's funny you laugh at you don't really. I'm trying to figure out if it's a really sad trait. Like, should we seek help? Or not even though, because I find it, it funny. Because, is it because we have to laugh on camera? Is it because of that? Maybe. I mean, maybe, maybe. When because you laugh in your head, do you make a laughing sound? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, what? I go. I go. I go. Microsoft Word. Word. Do you have a mic on? You don't have a mic on. Nick asked. He said, "If you, uh, if you're on your own, do you make the sound? Ha 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 ha." I I think honestly honestly I think there's a voice in my head that goes that's funny. <laughs> no, I was gonna say the same. Yeah, like like you there's know. there's been very very few things that I've seen <laughs> on my own and genuinely laughed out loud. Yeah, and I I'm, think one of them is like a TV show where it's like know, Friends <laughs> or Scrubs or something, and it's so or stupid. Young Sheldon, but you find that really funny, don't you? <laughs> yes. Uh, and it'll be something so stupid that yeah. I actually laugh like I, I can't stop myself and I just kind of go like <laughs> that was weird <laughs> yeah I know I know but if I'm with my dad I will cry yeah yeah not not well that's not because sound really like it's not, it's not it doesn't abuse me <laughs> <laughs> I just laugh until I cry you know um, <laughs> but like you're not you're not faking laughter when you laugh out loud with other people yeah. it's just a natural thing to yeah you actually laugh yeah but on your own yeah I, I don't know like Ricky Gervais could say the funniest thing, funniest thing ever, and I'd be like, "Oh, that's funny." You'll go, and it, 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 yeah. Or I might not even give it the. Hmm. I might just in my head go, "Hmm, funny." But no, with people, I'm wet myself. And also, li- I love comedy live. I love being at like a comedy show. I love that so yeah. much. Yeah, I just. Do you, do you ever cry though on your own? That's not sad. Do you ever cry there on your own? Nick said yes. To, to like movies. No, no. Do you ever cry on your own, like laughter. in an emotional movie or laughter? Oh. I don't cry to any movie. With people either. Mate, I cry on my own sometimes. You know, I well up to nice things and that's it. You know what I cry Sad about? things, I don't ever. I cry when someone does something that's completely out of their character. You know you know, someone in a TV show? Like, Give me an example. So Suits, it's like okay. Harvey Specter, who on the outside is like really like tough, you know, macho kind of, that kind of guy. If he does a nice gesture to one of the other people, it gets me going so much. Oh my God. Not, not, not like sexually, like cry, crying. I'll just cry. If someone does something selfless ever, I always make me cry in anything. I'm like, wow, what a nice, if you're watching TV and news, what's that? See, that made Scrubs. me, that oh, made me well up. I can't remember that scene. Um, it's, someone dies, today. Yeah, he's he's had a friend, his like best friend, uh, who's been dead for like the whole episode. Yeah, I, I'll and cry he, about that. He's like, where do you, th-? he says something along the lines of like, oh, you're not coming to see my son play baseball? Oh. And they're like, where do you think we are? Yeah. And it turns out he's at the funeral. Got you. Yeah. Like there's moments like that and there's another moment where he walks out after like four people just died and stuff. That makes me well up. But most of the time, it's it's nice acts yeah. that make me well up. I agree. Like I'll watch a movie and the main character dies and I'm just, uh, it's sad, but whatever. Yeah. I have the voice. That's sad. That's sad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But death, death doesn't really make me cry, but it's like if they will then talk about something that they'll miss about that person, that'll make me cry. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. You know, so it's like, oh, my dad's dead. I'm like, okay. But then like now I can even play baseball with him again. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. There's a there's a yeah. TikToker that uh keeps coming up on my for you page that keeps. Yeah. Keeps coming up. How can it keep coming back up? When you scroll, it's gone. The TikToker. Ah, oh, sorry. Not the TikTok. Okay. Yeah. I'll question the algorithm there. He's called Zachary something. And all he does is he, he basically finds someone and he's like he'll go up to he'll go up to someone on the street or like um I don't know, like a homeless person. Ah, oh, scroll past those. <laughs> <laughs> he'll go to like a homeless person and he'll say, oh, do you have a dollar? Like, I really need to get the, the bus. Oh, yeah. And the homeless person will find anything they have and give it to oh, them. Oh, that's nice. And then he's like, oh, I actually don't need it, but here's a thousand dollars. Yeah. And then they also do it to, you know, like a kid's being bullied or something like that. And he goes, oh, uh, do you like basketball? And the kid's like, yeah. He's like, I want to take you to the game. And he takes yes, the kid okay. and the mum. I've seen that, I've seen that, I've seen, I've seen that, that kid one. Yeah. yeah, that was really nice. He loved it. There's loads of those. One, what I don't like, and I saw one that was really bad, where, okay, okay where some of, the, some of them are fake, this one wasn't fake, right? Where this, this guy has found someone who's selling their PS4 on uh, Facebook Marketplace. 
like a hundred dollars or something. And they meet up at a park and the guy, the kid, or I'll call him the kid because it's more sad, but he's like, maybe like 20, 20. The other guy's a bit older. Yeah. He brings his PlayStation 4. I think I've right, seen And the one. guy gets it, slams it yep, on the floor, smashes one. it. But he, he's, the, the joke is that he's got a PS5 to give him. Yeah. But like what he doesn't realise is that like there's data on there or like, I don't know. It's just, well, he's selling it anyway. So it yeah. doesn't matter. True. You're right. Sorry. I messed up. <laughs> but... There's the ones with the headphones. You know, sometimes people do that. They Snip wear the headphones, the they cut them. Yeah. Like, oh, here's some AirPods. And I'm like, yeah, but I actually wanted my fucking wire yeah. ones, you little nonce. Like, <laughs> I, know, I know you give me more money, but like, you know, I don't like that. I know what you mean so with those. Those, those setups are bad. But what I'm talking about is specific one. He doesn't, he doesn't tell the kid that he's got a PS5 quickly enough. And the kid's like, why did you, do? he's like, he's like, why did you do that? Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I just thought it was, look, it looked old looking. And the kid's like, oh, you didn't have to do that though. And he walks off. Yeah. And then after he's gone like 10 yards, the guy goes, oh, I've got you a PS5. And that's, the kid's heart's broken at that point. He doesn't turn around. Yeah. I, don't, I hate pranks. Like, I hate pranks that actually like, actually cause pain on someone. I know what you mean. I, I, even, I, don't, I don't care how much you're going to give back to them afterwards. Just don't cause pain. On, it's like, <laughs> you know what we were talking about earlier about that video idea? Yeah. It's like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know what you mean. Cause, but sometimes you see like, and they, they snap someone's, um, earphones yeah. and then the person's so gassed to get AirPods I'm like okay this one was yeah. worth it but then the occasional one where the person's just they don't give that reaction they just go oh like oh I really I, like why you know have, what? It why shows, have you done that yeah and, it, and you know why because <laughs> they've been bullied before yeah and they're used to it man and mm-hmm. I'm like oh it's so horrible now because like they've gone because like school can be a horrible place right because at school you can be you can have bullies but then life's not like that people aren't genuinely like that it's just yeah. at school they are because they've got friends and clicks and that whereas like this person's now left school, got a hobby, painting in the in the woods, you know, reading a book in the woods, and you're gonna just cut his ear off, essentially. <laughs> it's like, bro, I was listening to that None song. None of that happened. <laughs> but, you know, not his ear off, you know, part of his ear attached to him. So that's where this guy, uh, this Zachary guy, he yeah. he did one where he said to the kid, he was like, um, oh, do you have a do you have a dollar? I think it was. Mm. The kid gives him a dollar. Yeah. And then he says, he's like, um, oh, you know. What what would you use the money for? And the kid was like, "Oh, to buy some groceries for my mum because mm-hmm. my dad died recently." Oh man, yeah. So then he gives the kid a thousand dollars, and he's like, "Oh, you like basketball as well?" Gets him a basketball net, and he says, "Oh, I want to take you to this game." Yeah, with with your mum, and um, the kid's like, "Oh, I'd love to. Like that'd be amazing." Turns out the kid doesn't have a passport. Lives in oh. Canada. Can't go to America. Canada, yeah. And the kid says, oh, I'll give you the money back so oh, you man. can give it to someone else who Aww. can go. And stuff like that. And the guy's like, no, 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 you keep it. And then he does a follow-up one where he says to the kid, like, oh, you've got your passport now. Let's go. Like, I want to take you to the basketball game. And the kid's like, oh, I have to check with my mum. <laughs> and the mum's there. And she's like, we're going. Yeah, that's nice. And I was like, that made me well up. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. So it was that again, though. I don't know if I'm crying at the happiness or the fact that he's getting like a break from the horribleness yeah maybe i agree either way just yeah either way you'll see me tear up but i i sometimes things can't what i hate you know i hate right when you're watching a tv show and like they say something or do something right so so say if you're paying it say if you're, say if you're paying full attention to what you're just talking okay. about and you start crying right but say you're not say i'm playing fifa i've got some like suits on or something like that right and i'm just minding my business just in the background i hate when someone says something or does something and it i don't even get a choice you know like, for example, no, right, okay. In a sad movie, right? In a sad movie, it's sad, right? I'm sad there. I'm like, I, I know I'm going to be sad at this point or I'm in a scary movie. I don't want to get scared or I'm going to comment down. No, I'm going to laugh. I hate when the TV show, without my consent, puts, puts hairs on the back of my neck. I hate that or makes me start crying without what my choice. What are you on about? I'm on about, you just sat there, mind your business. Something's on. Give an example. Okay, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching Suits. I'm playing okay. FIFA, right? Okay. I'm not really focused on Suits, just in the background, right? Something happens in Suits and I'm not even choosing to listen to it or engage with it and my neck the hairs on the back of my neck stick up or I start crying. No, you signed the you signed the agreement when you turned it on. But I'm not focused on it. Doesn't matter. It's like it's like they've entered without consent, they've forced me to have emotion. No, 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 no. What do you mean no? Anyone no, else, you've else? put it on. Let me know in the comments. I'm, I think I think this is a common thing. Anyone? Like Anyone? like by mistake. Jack you know? Nick? Or someone's okay. You're on a bus, right? I mean, yeah. I don't. Want, we, let's be honest. We don't want to take buses. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> if we did, we do. I would do that. I've made myself sound like a dick now. I was just We're joking. We're on a train. We're on a train. There we go. First class, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're on a train, right? And you know, I'm just kicking my legs because I don't touch the floor, and I'm minding my own business, right? And then there's a family next to me, and I accidentally overhear them, and it's something really nice. Can make me cry. What's that all about? I'm not in your conversation. You're eavesdropping. Not on purpose. Just enter my ear hole. Doesn't matter. Anyway, anyway. If you've heard enough to make you cry, you've, yeah, you've eavesdropped. Yeah. Speaking of laughing at content on your own, if you had to only for the rest of your life watch just short content, 
i.e. TikTok. I'm not going to put YouTube shorts in there because like, let's be honest, who actually watches YouTube? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's that guy on TikTok. I've told you about it before where like, he's like um, YouTube shorts users in seven years. And he's just dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> he's just watching like, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's probably me with my attention span. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. On So you can only watch short form content for the rest of your life or no. long form. What do you pick? And I'm going to not include films because in my head, that's not the same. So can I have a definition? Short form content. So, okay. Like a minute? To, you have to what? Yeah. So a minute and also portrait. Yeah. Portrait and under a minute with the odd few now and then go in 10, whatever, if you got really engaged or, but it doesn't count long form. Yeah. Or only like eight minute plus. No, 12 minute videos. Because eight minute ones, I still, eight minutes like a sweet spot. I think I'd go short. I think I would. Go short form. I think I would. Because I, I, I think if, especially if, you're not, if you're not including films. TV yeah. shows? No, I'm, I'm, they're normal. They're old. Oh, that's, that's something boomer, else. That's something boomer else. Boomer medium. That is. Yeah. Not. not okay. Then medium. I'd go short. I think I would. Yeah. Because also I think you can tell you can tell the story. Here you go. You can tell a 12 minute story in a minute just as efficient as efficiently. Yeah. But you can't tell a minute story 12 minutes sometimes. I would can. also. Like I think I would also see the best moments of the 12 minutes in 30 seconds. Yeah. Like for example, say you did a 12 minute Pokemon pack opening. Yeah. True. 30 seconds would show your best packs. Literally, yeah. And that's all I want to see. Well, don't say that. But, but no, yeah. <laughs> but it is. Like, no, I know, it's I know, the same I know. as every, you know, yeah. every kind of thing like that. Yeah. Okay, here's a question. Mm -hmm. You can only watch things under 21 minutes or over 21 under. minutes. Bro, I can't do long videos. Films, I'm talking. Oh. Every, I'm talking everything. Oh, sorry. TV shows are also 30 <laughs> minutes. You know what? Oh, crap, they are. That's that's some I, are like... Some you can get probably 19 without adverts. That's why I'm choosing 21. Okay, Cause nice. good idea. I, I think all shows like Friends and those kind of sitcoms yeah, are think, all- But I think you need the dramas in your life to progress. Otherwise, if you just watch Friends, then you No, 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 but I'm saying Friends and sitcoms are, are normally 27. Okay, okay, got you, got you. And you. most dramas are like an hour. Then movies ah, are obviously longer, so but all short film content under 21 minutes. I don't watch many films, but I think, you know when you talk about like dopamine and like habits these days, obviously we, you know, you have got like, like drinking, bad food, um, say like addiction based things like gambling, porn, or whatever. That's bad habits, right? Yeah. Like, like easy, easy dopamine hit, like but bad for you. Yeah, yeah. Ed Sheeran. Yeah, yeah, bad habits. Oh, I love yeah. that song. Um, <laughs> whereas like someone said, I saw someone like music is a is a good dopamine hit, you know? Because like, oh, and also I think films are a good. I think films are good for us actually. Like sometimes okay. I think you know, I'm I'm in my studio, right? I'm doing work, I'm filming a video, then I'm I'm on TikTok distracted a little bit, or I'm doing this and I'm keeping it distracted. Whereas like I think planting yourself in a theater or in a cinema, watching a movie or at home, watching a movie with your family is a good thing to do. Like, cause you're engaged in something that's, that's had a lot of hours put into it. It's got a certain degree of like credibility and, and quality. And I think that's really good for you. Okay. Not if you're on your phone, that's bad then. If you're on your, if you're, I do that all the time. I watch football, scrolling through TikTok, yeah. bad. Um, but I think there's something nice about watching a film. So I would choose long form. I think it's healthier for you. Okay. But but the little demon in me would want to watch shorter <laughs> stuff. You know uh, yeah, saying? I get that. With that being said, if I click on a YouTube video and it's like 17 minutes, like I can't do that. Same. I can't. You know when you're reacting on your own, mm -hmm. doing like the Simon reactions and stuff, you've done your second channel. How long are they usually? Like eight to 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. But on stream, you can react to longer videos, can't you? I don't normally do anything on stream over 22 minutes. But you could do a 20 minute one. I could do a in 20 minute one. Chat yeah. helps, right? I think, yeah. I think I would- Whoa, why are you laughing? 22. 22 minutes. If I see 20 minutes, I'll do it. And if I see 21, I'm like, oh, that's, that's a boundary right there. But 22 yeah. just sounds like it's long. Like Chris MD did a 35 minute video the other day. I watched it, yeah, you, on, but yeah. I watched it, me at Viz was over and nice. we were eating dinner. Nice. And we're like, fuck it, just put that on. Nice, nice. Uh, that's the one you were in. Oh, I thought, was the North yeah, yeah, I thought you meant, I wasn't like, I thought you meant like the one I was in at your house. I was like, I wasn't, no. I've never been. No, I've but like, once. I'm not watching that video unless. The reason. Yeah, like eating I was eating or, and yeah. I was like, fuck it, yeah. I'll put it on. So I we can just agree. We talked over half of it and you know. I just like, yeah, I mean, I did a, I did a reaction video on my channel on my own the other day, offline, not on stream, 17 minutes, and I literally skipped through. Yeah. One time I watched a Simon video, a, dart, a darts one, because I, I was in it, yeah. and I was reacting on, to it on stream, and I kept like slipping on and chat by mistake. I was like, whoops. <laughs> 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 and I'd try and put it on times two without them knowing. I find it so odd that you react to the videos you're in rather than the videos no, no, you're I, not. I don't react, no, you mean watch. I don't, what, I don't, or watch. I don't react oh, okay, or watch. Yeah. I just find um, it so odd that you watch the ones you're in, because I don't watch anything I'm in. I think it's, yeah, but it's- yeah. Firstly, because I don't want to see something. I mean, I don't want to see me. I, but I, so I'm like, you know how it's like self-deprecating type thing. I will literally, I don't care. I'm, I'll watch myself and, I, and if I'm, so I watch to see how bad I look in it. 
Do you know what I'm saying? So you'll okay. you'll not watch to see that. I yeah. I go on it to see how crap I look or say or how crap I'm or how unfunny I'm being, you know. Um, but don't I, put yourself I, down like that. No, no. But I, <laughs> I, but I won't sit there and watch it all. I just kind of skip through. But, but also, like, I am very intrigued. If we're on a team thing, I'm very intrigued what the other team did. I really care about that. I get that part. So you know what I'm saying? Because so you want to know what they. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. But like, if we're doing like a more sidemen video, no, I wouldn't watch like that. the darts one. Oh, but I, that was on stream, and I think I was there's, I was a reason why I was watching that. I can't remember something happened in it. Oh, it's because uh, I think I made a joke about Harper and I forgot her birthday or something. So I was trying to show my stream, like, look at this. And then they wanted to watch it. They were like, let's watch it. Uh, I wasn't, I wouldn't watch it on my own. Okay. But yeah, if you did a game show, I would never watch that back. So I'm like, I, I saw it all. Yeah, it all, yeah. you know? But okay, uh, team-based things. You. But also I do watch silent videos. I love to whack it on, but again, I've got no attention span. Yeah. I'd rather watch more side than every day of the week. We were talking about uh, screen time the other day on Sidecast. Yeah, mine was long, wasn't it? What was yours? Seven hours a day. Yeah. So but, mine's up to six and a half hours now. Yeah. And that's that's like the highest it's ever been. Yeah. And that's purely because of getting a dog. Yeah. Because now I get the yeah. dog and I just sit in front of the TV and just watch TikToks. Yeah. But I'm so tempted to... I'm, I'm almost tempted to... I don't want to say delete TikTok because mm. I still want to use it. I did freeze time... Uh, put a lock on his yeah, that's all cap stuff though like the am not also, saying freezy didn't i'm just saying it comes up saying you've hit your time limit and you can click but you can click ignore yeah yeah that's what i'm saying that's yeah, why i'm yeah, like yeah. It, it's not a thing no as much not. as you can say oh i put i would like to go on tiktok less but i think i i do use my phone for a lot of like a lot of like business stuff like i would yeah. very easily like sit like downstairs with Harper say and go like on emails or whatsapp for like brand deals or also like bank transfers for like poker and i'll just do it on my phone yeah also my bank i can't do it on the web but i can now but originally my app you can only, you can only do it on your phone you can do it on, online so like but also i do sit on tiktok a lot no i'm the same in terms of like yeah you have to use it for uh bank transfers but I, also, I am like, trying to use it less i'm trying to actively like because i am very i am very like i succumb to like the strike so I'm, I'm editing say right and i'm you know how, I don't know if you do this, you know proxy media, you know where you turn your timeline into proxy so it, your computer runs quicker. Yeah. So I'm like, right, I'm editing this, I'll turn it to proxy. And it'll, it'll be like, it, the, the dial will go, it's rendering. And you can take that like two minutes. I can't then start into new. So I just, what we're going to do, just sit here. No, I <laughs> pick, up, pick up TikTok and scroll. Now I scroll too much though. And like- And even, then that finishes yeah, and then and you're still just like, yeah, yeah I'm really bad at that. But then what am I going to do? In those two minutes, What am I, I'm not going to look at the dial. And no, wait you're on your finish. PC, right? Yeah. So you could just open a new tab something. Do what do though? I can't start a new task, you know, I'm like. But that's why you could just, you know, you could work on something. Yeah. You could, uh, even if you're checking how a video is done. No, I, yeah, true. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm really tempted to try. I, I, I don't want to do the whole thing and say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to touch my phone and I'm going to do a week without my phone. Because realistically, what if you have two phones? I need my phone. What if we do? Because you know people who have jobs. Yeah. So like Toby, Toby and JJ both have work phone. But, but JJ kind of like. JJ's doesn't make sense. He's, both? he's in the WhatsApp group. On both? Yeah, yeah, and he he literally types on both. It makes no sense. Means, yeah, but, but I think he doesn't have certain apps on one. Yeah. I mean, I had an Ace phone once and I ended up not using that phone because like, it's too much work. <laughs> I was like, keep that away. <laughs> like, you know. But then what would you like? So if you have a work phone and what's your other phone? Socials or fun? Problem is, problem is, problem is our work and social is the same thing. So like, for yeah. example, I, what I would do is, you know, I, I, what I would do an ideal world is I've got a phone that's personal that has WhatsApp, say, texts, you know, that, that stuff. Yeah. No social media, no TikTok, whatever. And then when I'm working, I'm editing or I'm filming, I'll put that, my real phone with all my social media distractions away in a different room. And I've just got my normal phone. Yeah. But then though, I'll probably end up like, probably going to WhatsApp more. I'll probably be like, you know, hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's up? <laughs> But that's a good idea, though. You could do that. Yeah, right? that's so it's that's, the same numbers. It's not a different number. But then I think you'd end up like so on your other phone. Would you have your WhatsApp? Yes, only because that's like because you'll end up just using that phone. But that's good though, because no Cause social media. No, you no, oh. no no. I'm saying, would you have your WhatsApp on the other phone too? Yeah, I would. Yeah, because then you'll go. Okay, I'm going on a, a train journey. Yeah, I'll take that one, and oh. then you'll just sit and watch. TikToks. I would take if I'm out and about. I'll take both. Yeah, but then it's kind of like, but what I, is the I, point? If I'm on a train, I don't care about TikTok. That's fine then. Because that's just yeah. Like, but my I'm, thing's I'm, just try, like I almost want to just try and use as little as possible. Okay, say you're watching a film with Talia or you're watching a football game. That's where I then take away your distraction phone. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm fully- But I think, I think you should take that away when you go out. Like I think if we say we're going to troops meal, true. I hate that. I do hate. I that. would hate. To, I I don't want to even have. I know any form of social media on my phone. You don't want any, you don't want your phone there at all. No, apart from emergencies. I guess. Yeah. But what kind of emergency? like I'd have my WhatsApp. I'd have I'd have my phone just so if I get a WhatsApp, I can go. Okay. Oh, um, you know my dog's eating Talia. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It could get big enough one day to do that. True, you know. But yeah, I agree. But yeah, and it's also I don't blame people. You know, when you're at, you know when you're at meals with people, I don't blame them for on their phone. I'm like, it's very easy to do that. But I'm all like, I'm just like, I wish we didn't. You know, yeah. I wish we all just didn't do that. Yeah. Um, but then it depends on who you're at a meal with. Because there are those times when you're, you know, I'm not going to name any names. Well, there's no names. <laughs> <laughs> but you say, say like, you know, when you're a kid and you're with your like parents' friends. Yeah. And you're like, this is, I don't want to be active in yeah. here. And I love being like that situation. I'll be on my phone all the time, you know, or, oh, sorry, I got a call. So I got to take this. And then you don't. Yeah. Then type of things, I'm on my phone. That g- gasping for any sort of inst- entertainment. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because we, we say this, this in this day and age, I was talking to my therapist and she was like, why? I'm not sure she should, she, should, she should say this to me. But one day I started the call with her and she was like, wow, it's like so many people got anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay. Not, not in a bad way. If she if she ever watches this, then I'm sorry if that's illegal to say that. No, but but what but, but, but it's just the day and age. The day and age we live in, there are so many traps for us, isn't it? It's like dopamine. Yeah. So I'm I'm talking to her. I'm like, I know what I need to do to like improve with things, but it's like it's like having the motivation to do it, you know? But that's the hard part. Because we know there's so many things these days, like social media is toxic, you know, TikTok type of things toxic. I mean, TikTok can be very good, but too much of it, too much of everything's bad. Yeah. You know? But it's like, you know, we, we have like these restaurants that are like, you know, fast food, really nice food or good food, enjoyable food, but too much of it. And it like, it's the ease and ease of getting to it. Like everything we have now is on a tap available to us. Yeah. And it's like by only getting rid of those, going for like walks, watching films with your family, say that those are the things that are like actually going to benefit you long term. But it's hard to do those things because. You know, sometimes it's boring. Yeah. Sometimes sitting watching like even football. Sometimes I'm like, mm, it's fucking boring. That's yeah. On my own. Yeah. But then I'm, if I'm with my dad, I'm like, oh, look that pass. You know. Yeah. And you get to Arsenal. You're like, this is sick. Now I can see everything. Yeah. I know what you mean. How do you fix it? That's the question. Well, you have to be mindful. You have to, you have to be on. You have, you have to actually believe in what you're doing. So you have to actually be like, right, if I'm exercising, this is gonna benefit me long term. It's not a quick fix, but long term it would be because then people people get down, right? And they're like, well, why am I not happy? And you're like, well, because you're taking the easy wins. You know, you gotta like, you gotta know that if you can work out a long, long time, you'll you'll do better. Because uh, Harry Harry deleted TikTok but, off yeah. his phone, and then I think he ended up getting well, it I back. Well, I've seen him lo- put some links in. Oh no, he yeah, he got it back because ah. he originally got rid of it because he watched. I think he watched a TikTok saying like, what were the last six t- TikToks you watched? And he was like, I don't know. So exactly. So what, what benefit has that true, brought to you? True. Cause it's the same with me with Twitter. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I yeah. see the best tweets cause yeah. you guys will link them. Yeah. So I could get rid of TikTok well, and then I, I would see the TikToks I need to see cause you guys would link yeah. them. Twitter actually benefits me now. Cause I, I think cause of the for you page thingy, like if I like and stuff, I'll see more. So I'm seeing more like I'm seeing thumbnails. I'm seeing like titles I'm seeing AI stuff. And I'm like, actually this is actually benefiting my work a little bit. Yeah. I almost, I almost, and I think I still want to do this, make a new account. You know, like Viz did. I'll make a new account for every social media and only follow things that I actually enjoy. Cause yeah. I, you know, you, you see like the fight pages and I'm like, oh cool five. I'm like, what, what why was, I don't need to see that. Yeah. So I, I don't want to be able to see that. So I wish you could really like, I wish you'd really, we well can train the algorithm, but for good things to benefit, to benefit you. Cause the other thing with, um, this is a very, very minor problem. It's not even a problem, but if I didn't have TikTok, where I could do like TikTok reaction videos all the time yeah. and I wouldn't have seen any of them. Yeah. But I go on it so much that now, you know, if you go, oh, do this TikTok try not to laugh and it's going to be like the funniest TikToks that everyone's You'll seen. Them. I've yeah. seen them. Yeah, yeah. Also when someone links like something in, I'm like, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is bad, but yeah. You see, XQC just goes live and just scrolls through TikTok. Yeah. It's starting to get bad now. Cause I think sometimes like, I don't know, it would be something bad that you're not supposed to see. It's bad for his stream, you know, monetization and all that. But um. Yeah. Also, this is an interesting one. What is your ideal type of content to make? Um, I think mine splits into two and it is football videos mm. and gaming videos when I really enjoy the game. Yeah. So football videos, like I just, I just love playing football. Like yeah. I don't do it at all, but I love it. <laughs> so like the penalty video I did. Yeah. I love, even though I'm barely, I'm not even playing football in it. I just love the idea of like, I'm playing football a little bit. Yeah. I'm watching football. I'm making, and I'm putting a lot of effort into it. Yeah. Gaming videos. I started like a game. Well, by the time this comes out like a week ago called Contraband Police. Mm-hmm. And it's basically a simulator. Yeah. And it's just like, I played it for an hour and I was like, this game's sick. Okay, like yeah. I want to, I want to record the next three episodes, four episodes. But then once I finish that game, I'll go back into the, oh, okay, there's no game. What, what yeah. the fuck do I play? Yeah. Those two together, when when I when I have like when it's summer and I can get a pitch and a good game and there's a good game comes out, yeah, that that's like when I'm yeah. gassed, yeah. 
What about you? Well, I've said this many times podcast. I actually don't love making videos. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, just in the wrong business. Yeah, well, no, but I like <laughs> making, I love showing people th things. Yeah. Does that make sense? So like, I like, if I can figure something out, that's really cool. So when I was doing music, I'd show people my music. But like now, I think only because like, because I do this now, say like, say JJ, and I met you guys, you guys make videos, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'll put my music out there. That's how I get my music out there. Now, but then I'm like, okay, it's easy. so easy for me to make it like a reaction video. Yeah. Back in the day, so easy to react to like a diss track. It's so easy. And then you get a brand that's like, oh, I'll pay you this much money to make a video. I'm like, okay, well, well obviously I'll do that. Yeah. You know, and then I'm now I'm like, now I'm just trying snacks. <laughs> but I like that. I like, I, I like being in videos. I just not making them. Because like I watch Freezy and Cal, right? Obviously like, you know, side men, I'm like, I'm, I don't get envious of like the Simon Sunday. I'm like, I just can't do that. But like Freezy will go, uh, you know, throw a dot on a map or, or, or he'll go to the most expensive hotel in Europe. And I'm like, yeah. I could do that. I could just get a camera person and be like, let's go. But I'm like, I feel like I'm, I feel like I don't have the confidence to do that on my, on my own. Yeah. But I would love to make, I would love to make those style of videos. People give me ideas all the time. How about you do this? I'm like, oh, it's too, too hard to do though. But I would love to do that. I think that that purely could be though, you've just lost the hunger of, like, I have, I really have. Because realistically, we've all been we've been doing YouTube for so long that you know, like people keep saying, like John will say something every now and then. He'll hear an idea and go, "Oh, like let's do that then." Yeah. It's like, oh, it's just I don't need to do it. I I agree. But Whereas it, yeah, six years ago, yeah, I got I oh, I have to do that. Mm -hmm. I see views, I see subs, I see whatever. Yeah. But for me, it's even worse because it's like when I first started. Obviously, I'm doing like um, so I'm doing tour with JJ. Then I'm doing my own like New Age album. I'm like, I really enjoy making my music, but then I'm like. I don't do. I don't really do that anymore. And it's like that was my. Oh, that was my like enjoyment, you know. And I don't really have that drive for it. Yeah. Well, I wish I did. But then I'm also like it's mental problems that I'm like stopping me doing it. But I love Pokemon. But also, recently when I hadn't been doing it, I'd like fallen out of love with doing it. It's like I love actually love like making Pokemon content. That's my kind of thing. Yeah. But even that, like if I, if I'm not fully enjoying like the community, then I'll struggle. Yeah. Bit of a chance. I don't know what, I'm, what I don't even know what I'm doing in life. <laughs> <laughs> what, do I, what do I even do? I was just fine. Like, put yourself just just grind it out through the like when you don't want to do it. Yeah, grind it out, and you'll literally want to do it again. But you know what it was, right? I did a video on it recently. Actually, it's going live. This will be out by now. But it's where like uh, I was saying, because someone made a video. You know when Pokemon first was a thing, right? And I have always loved the content where you like you get a card, see the condition of it, and grade it, see the price of it. And that's not necessarily just to like make money. It's just like to see how it can go from like yeah. this car or buy a collection, find like a sick card in that collection or, you know, um, open a pack at the best card. How much is that worth? I love that type of stuff. And it's what I would watch. But then you had the people who are like players and they're like, oh, you, you're all just making clickbait videos saying you spent 10 grand, five grand. And it's ruining the Pokemon. And I was like, and I really, I thought I was doing that. I thought I was a part of making what Pokemon, like Pokemon <laughs> a bad thing. So I felt really depressed about it. I was like, I'm ruining Pokemon. But then I realized like, I said this in my video, you have like a finance channel. You have two finance channels. One of them is about being frugal and like how to budget your money. And the other one is like buying 10 houses and how to invest to maximize. And then the same finance thing, it's the same, same subject, but different ends of it. And yeah. they're both okay to do what they're doing. It's just different styles. And that's what it's like for Pokemon. Like they're making their videos about like collecting a card for the deck. And, and whereas I'm out here enjoying grading, enjoying like, um, you know, looking at profit. And I'm getting views because people like that as well. There's a reason they're watching it because they like it. Yeah. So like I felt guilty for a long time. And I, I, that's why I stopped collecting Pokemon because I was like, I think I'm ruining the, the hobby and also ruining my own enjoyment of it. But now I realize I'm just making content. So I'm, I'm happy again with it. Yeah. But I didn't like that I was potentially responsible for ruining someone's hobby. <laughs> but you know, grow up. But who's saying that? Who's saying the whole like, oh, you shouldn't be It was this. someone who was doing the, not what I enjoy. But then it's not like, it's not the majority. No, I'm not at all. Like, no, but it's always like that. You even, you'll you know with Simon, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. The, the vocal minority always like are the ones that you think about the most. Yeah. You know, so you, you, could, you could have like, you could have like, you could have six, literally six million views on a hide and seek, right? And you've got like, well, maybe hide and seek's a bit more than like 50 people, but you could have like 50 people saying this is shit. I was like, well, a lot of people enjoy it. Yeah. But you only listen to the... Yeah, I get you. I'm talking too much, sorry. No, no, no it made sense. Yeah. It's also a podcast, that's, that's the point. Yeah, true. <laughs> Mate, Raksu, you know when he went on that like story? Yeah. Like, this is un unbelievable. Yeah. I, I wanted to applaud him. Yeah, but I don't want to interrupt him. Yeah. <laughs> when he finished the story, I was like, I, I, bro, that was, that was a whole monologue. <laughs> yeah, it's like a live story in 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, very sick. All right, to end this, we'll do some would you rathers. Yeah. And yep. I'm going to ask them because you okay. asked last time. Okay. Would you rather have a pause button or a rewind button. And I'm going to say the oh. rewind goes maximum 10 hours. Nice. Cause I'm like, I'll rewind to Jesus. No, 10 hours. <laughs> oh, imagine, imagine 
Bro, okay, I'll answer it. But imagine you can rewind to whatever point in life you want to, but you have to do it in the same pace it would have take to go backwards. That's sick. What do so, you mean? Right, I, I can rewind to Jesus, yeah. but I have to wait 2,000 years to get there. In like, you know what I'm saying? You'd be dead. No, but I get, I get, I get, I get protection. <laughs> okay, okay. But that'd be unreal, right? Uh, so you, so you I mean, go, I'd rather just rewind. But you can't. In my, in my situation. <laughs> yeah, but why but, would that be unreal? But you, but you can come back instantly. So okay. You can come back instantly. But if but, you're making like a, a, a hypothetical situation what, and you're saying that would be unreal, why not get rid of the waiting? That would be unreal. But I'm saying if that was if that was the reality and I couldn't change it, how crazy would that be? Yeah. No, 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 I'm not saying unreal. Like, I'm, not, I'm not saying amazing. I'm saying that would be an interesting thought. Ah, like, you can okay. go back to whatever point in life. Uh, yeah. Like, so you can go to the ice age, but you have to wait a million years. How far, how far back would you go? <laughs> Bro, I, would, I would only go back like, I'd only go back a couple of years at a time, max. But you can come back and you haven't aged at all and you're the same. Yeah. So, so, so right now, I press rewind. I'm going to go a million years in the past. But you have to sit and yeah, do nothing for, for a that million long. years. But I can see things moving back. Okay. So I can watch you walk out the room, say. But, but, but then are me. you like, are you just a floating being? You are not existing right now. You're paused. Okay. And I, I when I press So play, in real time, you're paused. Yeah. But in your head, I'm you're watching. seeing everything. But where are you? Are you floating? No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just here. I'm, yeah, I don't yeah as in like yeah, time goes back. Uh, you get back 200 years. This building's not here. Where are you? Okay, okay. Not 200 years. I'm not, I, mean. I can't fly, but you get like from, you get fall protection. You're kind of just like a, an, an, an Ambience. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That would be unreal though, wouldn't it? But then when I press play, I'm back like nothing ever changed. Oh my God. That, okay, so that, pause button or sorry. rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, someone should write a book about what I just said. I'm going to I'm gonna get out to write me a book and I'm going to put the book back into a plagiarism checker. <laughs> anyway, um, right. Would I rather pause or rewind? I think pause. I th- how, I long, like how, rewind. how long do I pause for? Uh, as long as you want. Let's go 10 hours. Wait, rewind. I can just gamble then. Yeah. But pause, ah, oh, pause, I can't change what really that's gonna land on, but I can. Yeah, I feel like every scenario in terms of going back in time always comes down to how can I make the most money? True. It's always that in it. It's like, bank. can I, can <laughs> I, I put my money in stocks? Yeah. Like, can I just go back in time and put loads of money Apple. in Apple before yeah, it yeah, starts? Yeah. <sighs> you see that thing where someone said that they, uh, they, they put the deposit down of a Tesla, Roadster Founders Edition for 250 grand like five years ago. And if they had just put that money into Tesla, the company that have made like 1.5 mil in the time they'd take to receive the car, which they still haven't got. Oh my God. But yeah, you're right. Is this, why have you got Bart stopping time? <laughs> Nick just put Bart stopping time on mute. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, oh, it's episode, man. It, but, I feel but, like you wouldn't actually do anything with but, right, pause. Okay, so you, you go, I can pause and rob a bank, but I wouldn't do that, would you? I wouldn't choose to do that. But obviously yeah. you, make, you make money, but like, yeah. But rewind, you could rewind. You could be like, you could be say on a, on you could do date, anything on a date, and you just said something really bad. Oh shit, shit. Say yeah, you do like rewinding a hundred percent. But isn't rewinding pausing anyway? If you think about it, because you can go back and back and back and go back. I can guess. you go? If you go no. back ten minutes, you can't go back again. No. Okay, that's yeah. changed everything. Yeah. But I would go to I'd go to like a football match or something. I'd go to a Leeds match, <laughs> and I'd say like blow on the ball. <sighs> No, because I'd still have to be in there. I'd still have to be there. Oh yeah. But the the pausing one, you could move the ball. Mm. But the rewinding one, you could you could tell the other team. They wouldn't know. Rewinding, they wouldn't know what you've done. If you pause it and move the ball, everyone's like, that ball just teleports. Yeah, but no one knows it's you. Yeah, so it doesn't like, matter. But then there'll be an inquiry. Like, oh, Rashford's about to take this penalty. Just move the ball slightly to the right. So he touches it wrong. Yeah, but then rewind it. While it's rewind, oh yeah. Yeah, what's happening? Shit, yeah, this is a tough one. I'd still go rewind. Yeah, I rewind. What's next? These are good. Would you rather um, be famous for your talent or for your wealth? Well. So let's say, I'm uh, gonna change it slightly. Okay, but you can't, but talent doesn't necessarily mean you're rich. No, you are really talented. Thank you. Like, <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> you're really, really talented. Yeah. But. You're on a you're on the average wage of the UK, <laughs> yeah. but you're like you're like super talented. Yeah, like whatever you want to do. And like, oh, wow, oh wow, he's really good at like. Uh... Oh, Let's just go music. You got, it's you got, you got, you. Okay, you're like Ed Sheeran levels. Oh, he can, he can play a triangle like no one else can. But there's no jobs in triangle. Yeah, he? yeah, but you're like so famous and you're so talented. <laughs> or Thanks. you're really famous because you have a billion 
trillion dollars. Which, which some people are. But you literally have no, you're not good at anything. Like barely good at talking. Are you just talking about Elon Musk? <laughs> um, you just pick the money, man. You would, you would honestly. Like, because I feel like, I feel like you've, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying that you've, you've had glimpses in life. We've, had, we've, we've both had glimpses of that being true in some sense. Not about being talented, but you've definitely done something that's really, really cool that no one gives a shit about. And on the other side, you've done something that you maybe didn't like as much, but you've got money for it. And I always feel like that side, it, 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 with that, at least you can take care of your family and the ones who you truly love in life, you can experience that with. But are you as happy in life? But I think you yes. have money, but you're not really in, like you're not into anything and good at anything <sighs> that you love. Whereas like talent, no, that's different. That's different. But as in like for a talent, for example, you love making music. Yeah. You're really good at it. You can make music and you can make people happy see, with see, it, yeah. but you can't earn money from it. Okay, yeah. Well, I think I'd choose that. I'd choose that. I, I was okay. thinking about being good at the triangle. <laughs> but if I'm thinking about actual something that I really love, like a passion, I would choose the passion. Yeah. Because like, yeah, like even even like now you think, well, you're doing well, but I'm a truly like content with everything. You think maybe I'm not. Whereas like, yeah, if you just hadn't, but then also I also feel like, you know, if I had that much money, I would make myself have a talent. Have a pa- you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd, be like, I'll I'd find pay a people to tell me I'm talented. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll make my passion and talent in life just drive my yacht around you know, <laughs> the I'd create I'd create something new <laughs> yeah. that I am the best at because yeah. I'm the only one with it yeah no one else can afford it like I'd, I'd create jetpack olympics yeah yeah and it's like suddenly oh, who's but challenging it- <laughs> me no one has this much money true <laughs> jetpack olympics <laughs> but if someone has said would you rather be happy than, or rich then you just choose happy yeah you know uh, scroll down a sec we'll go last one yeah would you rather have the power to heal any illness or injury Mm-hmm. Or be able to bring someone back from the dead. So essentially, I don't know how else to change these. <laughs> essentially, you can always prevent death, or bring them back, or bring them back. Yeah, but isn't that the same thing? No, because we'll die of yeah. old age. Yeah, because for example, I like. There's a lot of people. Obviously, sadly, a lot of people do die before like they're old. Yeah, I was gonna say that. But when they're old, you're gonna bring them back. They might die again in a couple Yeah, years. and I'm like, no and offense. And then you're going to bring them back. Yeah, so like, obviously they... I've had grandparents who've died and like, no offense to them. They're great people, but I was kind of like, I watch your time. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but it like, just sounded like- No, I mean, like, you you've just, had- <laughs> You went to their funeral and said over their casket, like, <laughs> you had your time. <laughs> Don't mean that, because obviously we've all lost grandparents. It's tough. If you haven't, then it will, be, it will be tough. Sorry to say that. But like, yeah, I'm like, you've lived your life. We yeah. weren't necessarily in it at the same time together, but you know, fair play. Like you experience a lot. Like, yeah. When I get old, I'm like, oh, God damn it, man. Like I'm going to miss like Harper or her daughter or whatever or son. But, but also like, you know, they've got their life. Yeah. But, but some people do die young. That's the killer. Literally. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, that's the killer. Like, that's, you know, fuck. So um, you could bring them back, but you could also stop any illness or injury. I would stop. <sighs> I'd go illness, injury. illness. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to see them suffer the pain. Like, okay, say someone's had the pain and they died, I can bring them back. But then I'm like, yeah. you still have to go through the pain. If I can stop the pain from happening, I prefer that. And also like, you know, if you're like, oh, you wanna go out with, with your mate? And like, oh no, I'm a bit ill. Like, well, now you're not, bitch. <laughs> like, come on, we're going out. <laughs> I think someone goes to side cast. Oh, sorry, I, I, I don't feel very well today. Well, now you do, get out here. <laughs> the, way I'm, the way I'm picturing this, which yeah. is really, really sad. Okay. You. I'm thinking like, okay, the amount of people that die young, mm. horrible accidents or whatever, I could save them. Yeah. Or I could save, oh. you know, like for example, like Make-A-Wish. Yeah. Oh. I could save everyone. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I think, I think I'd go with the illness injury one. Yeah, true. You can make some sick Mr. Beast videos. <laughs> yeah, without, and, they get, and they get slated online. Well, yeah, but you don't have to pay. You know, that's even worse. I'm doing it as a video without. They wouldn't know that. I'm not even putting my money into it. You'd lie. I spent 20 grand per person <laughs> to cure their blindness, but actually, you know, I'm, no, I'm, I'm joking, obviously. You see, he's got his, his Mr. Beast. We should have spoken about this. Philanthropy. Yeah. And he, they're hating on that channel now. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, you're, you're only doing this for profit. He's like, no, no, this channel is literally like purely is. This, yeah, this channel is all, I, any money that's made yeah, goes not, into. Not even profit made. Yeah. yeah just, oh, man. Yeah. You can't win. You can't win. Because it's the same as. Same as uh, when someone does a video online and it's like, okay, I'm gonna go give, um, oh, here we go. It's a charity we run. All yeah. the revenue goes uh, towards running our food pantries. Yep. It's it's dumb that it, it's get, it gets hate. Yeah. 
Uh, what was I about to say? You're going to say that like um, someone can give a, you know ten grand to a homeless person. You're like it's bad because oh yeah, it's if someone, it. for example, say I get a sponsor for a video, yeah, say I, ten grand, whatever, yeah, I go give ten grand to a homeless man, yeah. If I hadn't done the video, if I hadn't done the video and got the sponsor, yeah, would the act have happened? Yeah. Like well, I, I'm saying no, but I'm saying maybe yeah. I, maybe I've done it and you know whatever, but realistically I can do more with it. Yeah, for sure, it's definitely like a net positive because it's like no matter what happens, like yes, while you are growing your channel, calm, and while you are doing your thing, like you know the 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 person still got their help, you know. But there are levels to it, like as in like you are still doing that for your own channel sometimes. So and it, yeah. it, it can be doing bad taste is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so if I okay, so how do you judge me if I did this? Yeah, I've got sponsors tomorrow. Yeah, ten grand. So I'm going to go give 10 grand to a children's charity, but I'm going to give it like, I'm going to go to it and, you know, buy them toys with 10 grand. Yeah. All the money that I get from the video is going to go towards yeah. the charity. Yeah. But I've only done it to look good online. Well, I haven't, but you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the argument. But also you wouldn't get the money. You could say, oh, I'm going to do a different idea, still get the brand deal and then give that to a charity. But it's like sometimes the money for the brand deal then provides the idea in your head to be able to oh I can give this away then yeah but I I would but I, I think that would get you'd get slated for yeah that. no no I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you're a bad person for doing it and I wouldn't say it's wrong to do it because again they're still having that getting the benefit of it but I would also then say the question about you doing it for your own gain could be and asked I wouldn't be mad at someone asking that you know I'd be yeah. like, okay hey, fair enough that's a good a good point but if you look at the, the, the you know, in this case in this situation it's fine you know it's helping someone that not, might not necessarily had it before but then obviously when it's something that is purely like the Mr B's philanthropy stuff that's like, that's pure just that is he is doing it you know but I guess you could say then I'm also also you doing it to get that. the pat on the back but yeah. it's like does that mean you are you doing it just for a PR move it's good mate it's good it's but all good. I, yeah, I see it as as long as you're doing it yeah and it you're not doing it for I mean, I believe his intentions. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's all it is. You have seen some in the past that you like. You, I feel like this person's a dickhead. Yeah, and they're just doing it for that. Yeah, but then Mr. Beast, you don't think that. But then well, maybe it's the he ones is. who. It's normally when you like there. Were, there was always a thing of a lot of people would do videos where they'd go out and give like uh, blankets to homeless people. Or something. Yeah, and they, you know they've spent five hundred bucks. Yeah, on blankets. Yeah, then the video's done a couple million views, and that's that's it. And it's kind of like, okay, well, you've definitely earned a couple grand yeah. and you spent $500 on it. Yeah. So you've you've looked good. You've earned money. Yeah. You've got views and subs. Yeah. And you've done like a good deed, but I, yeah. I, I don't know. If your intention is that. Yeah, I know. That's, what, that's why I always think like, yeah, look, if you're doing it and giving all the ad rev as well, calm. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. Even if, even if you are looking good, it doesn't matter. No. You're still, <laughs> and it, it's, you're still doing a good deed. Yeah. And it's also tough when, like, when your job, like, similar to the situation, like, his job is to make content so you can reach more people and advertise more anyway as well. So it's like, it's good to do that. Yeah. But also, like, it is good also. So I know I saw Dave Grohl go and, like, uh, prepare food for something. And he didn't even, there's no PR. He didn't ask anyone to take photos. He just went yeah. and did it. That's also, obviously, if you can do that, then great, you know. But if your job is to make videos to hundreds of millions of people, then it's like, well, if I'm showing them I'm doing good, then that's also a positive because it might yeah. inspire someone else to do the same thing. But he also can't, if Mr. Beast just went, he, he can't carry on doing really nice things if he doesn't make the content around it. Exactly. So he, he, he could give something. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he could go, okay, I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to give 100,000 to this charity and yeah. just not mention it. Yeah. But he can't do that nonstop no, no. without making content. Yeah. Um, I saw that there was a stat where he said on his uh, channel or across all his channels, it was like 616 million unique viewers. Do you see that? That's actually a crazy number. That's nuts. Considering what is like seven, eight billion people in the world. That's like... Wow. Can't do the maths, but yeah. it's up there. Yeah. <laughs> it is up there. <laughs> but I think um, we're running out of card space. Yeah. So we're going to call it there. Uh, hopefully we'll have a guest on the next one and yep. I'll have a lot to talk about, yep. I think. True. It will be after your trip. Yeah. Yeah. Although I don't know if I can. Uh, yeah. I think that video will be out. Banging. The weekend for this. Banging. So yeah, um, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe. Subscribe. Damn it. Yeah. It's late. Yeah. Well, <laughs> catch you next week. Peace. Peace.